but yeah, so the the game then presents a series of puzzles to you um, with which you have to snip yourself into the right shape to solve the puzzle. So things like you'll um, push a button and then a ball will fall, fall from the ceiling and you've got to get the ball into a, a net, like a basketball net. So the thing you want to do is hop up on top of your friend's head and then kind of sandwich your butt into the top of their head to snip them down to create like a bowl shape so that then you can deposit the ball into their head and get that into the basket. Um, That's the cold open right there. So, um, specs won a comp. What was the competition? Was so, it like? A- Did you have to like mail the backs of cereal boxes to people? <laughs> yeah, I had to buy all the Nintendo's um, boxes for the mm. past three three months, like all mm. the different flavors. And then there was a cryptic <laughs> crossword on the back of all of the boxes if you stapled them together. He needed the decoder um, ring as well. Uh, funnily, you see. funnily enough, yeah. After the decoding um, section, the answer was Mario. Uh, <laughs> Could have guessed, really. No, um, just. I think they emailed all of the Club Nintendo members. Um, Club Nintendo is shit nowadays, by the way. This is the only good thing to come of it. It's my Nintendo now, isn't it? My Nintendo, My yeah. Nintendo. And um, yeah. I, I replied like I assume most people who got the email did, and I was just picked as one of the, I think it was 500 people got tickets for them and a plus one to go to yeah. Hammersmith in London. Oh um, man, a trip to Hammersmith! Hammersmith. Wow! It was eye-opening. Never been to Hammersmith before. <laughs> uh, is Hammersmith where the the intro to Bottom was filmed? Yes, so that was. That is that's best. all I know of that's Hammersmith. That's all I know of Hammersmith, Hammersmith as well. Hammersmith is where we went. I know it's where Pokemon we went thing. as well. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, I was there too. Yes, yeah, you, you were. weren't fucking there. I was Not there the before same time. you. Different day, loser. Yep. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> So from nine o'clock, uh, which actually was ten o'clock because they they didn't open until ten. Um, some trouble setting up, I assume. Um, until one o'clock, uh, I was able to go into a uh, Nintendo event and play various games on the Nintendo Switch. Um, do you want me to give a rundown of what was there? Uh, yeah. I've got my cheat card. So they gave us a, a stamp thing before we get, get went in to sort of stamp all of the games we had played so I can actually remember everything I, I played. And if you got all the stamps, you got a free pin badge. Nice. No, actually, you got a free pin badge even if you didn't get oh. all the stamps. It was a farce. Everyone's um, a winner. So there was Zelda, Breath of the Wild, <laughs> uh, Splatoon 2, um, uh, Mario Splatoon, two. Splatoon no. but they they haven't done that. Ah, so that's really that was, stupid. Uh, Mario Kart bad. Eight Deluxe, uh, Arms, um, Snipper the- Clips, which you may not have seen, but Snipper Clips is quite a fun little puzzle game. Uh, there I'm really just- interested in that one. It's it's quite fun. Um, there was the there was just a trailer for the new um, Mario, but it's the same trailer as the other trailer the trailer that you've already seen for Mario Odyssey. And then they had One Two Switch. There were I think <laughs> six different games for One Two Switch you could play. There was cow milking. Um, <laughs> how many marbles are there in this box? <laughs> uh, oh, <no. laughs> um, safe cracker. Uh, which is not about white people who aren't in danger. <laughs> it's it's a completely different game. That was a nice um, meme. There's uh, <laughs> there's um, what was it? Samurai or something? Where one guy's got to slice you with a sword, and the other guy's supposed to catch it. There was um, High Noon or Gunslinger <laughs> or something. It's called Stop the Meme. Uh, and noon. there was JoJo Posathon. <laughs> Um, so those were the one, two switch games. And then they had a selection of third party publisher games, which included Sonic Mania, uh, fast racing, Neo remix, um, ultra street fighter Two turbo ham fist edition. Um, 
What else? Is it actually called that? Are you being no, sincere? it's called... It's Ultra no, Street it's Fighter 2. Ultra Street 2, Fighter 2, the final challenges, I think. That's it, final challenges. No Hampest edition. Oh. <laughs> um, there's Discade and 5, and what was the other thing? Oh, that new half assed Heroes, or whatever it's called, has been Heroes. What the gosh uh, is that? I've only heard Heroes. about it. And Just Dance, of course. Just, just uh. Dance. Nobody was playing Just Dance. Was there, no there was Skyrim? no Skyrim? There was no cute. There was no Skyrim. No. Um, Skyrim's not coming to the Switch. Yes, it is. Yes, it no, is. It is. Did you not see Todd? He was, was locked in a tomb. Wait, was Todd at the event? By Todd, my game. Todd no. was at the uh, reveal event. Did they, he? They, did he stand on like those no, platform shoes to make him look what taller? They did, what they did was they locked him in a tomb until he agreed to put <laughs> Skyrim on the Switch, and there's a live feed from the tomb where he's entrapped. They've they've just they've just trapped like him inside the, the Nintendo returned. Switch and told him <laughs> to to be Skyrim yeah. the entirety. Um, did you see the the Suda Fifty One section of the reveal as oh, well? God. Where the first thing he did was he like strummed an air guitar in a massive way and broke his mic, <laughs> and nobody <laughs> could hear what he was saying. And the translator was just like, um, uh, "Yeah, the translator so, just gave up." I, I Poor translator. The, the translator just made stuff up. He was just like, uh, uh, "I'm I'm Suda Fifty One." Um, you guys might remember on the the Wii, uh, yeah, we had this this character, Travis Touchdown. Yeah, and, God, I uh, love Suda Fifty One. He's, he's going to be genius. on the Switch, maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> but, thank you, Suda Fifty One. Did so, anyone here what, actually watch it live? Because I actually did get up because I was no, I, I did. Didn't know anyway. I nah. got up at four four fifty in the morning. Yeah, I set an alarm for it, but I didn't. So I, I did get up at like five to four. What cause... a mistake! Well, I needed to check if my trains were running because there was snow on the line anyway. So I thought I might mm. as well. Oh, snow on the line. It was my <laughs> university's no, prize giving oh, day that don't. day, so I just like sat and watched it during the prize Ooh. giving. Mm. But it was very entertaining, and the poor translator just he was getting screwed. The translator just like they had one good translator, and then for yeah, most of it, Bill. they used the bad. And they had Bill coming as Bill. well. <laughs> translation, they reverse had... translation. He put English into Japanese instead. Yeah, with, right. <laughs> with Mr. EA, my son's middle name is Luigi. Uh, how much I love the fuck EA. With, uh. with Mr. EA, we're not evil overlords. We promise. Here, have some FIFA. There's probably a port of the PS3 version. Yeah, there aren't any PS3 say. versions anymore, are there? I thought they'd stop doing them by now. I have no idea. I don't buy EA games. They're probably still doing them. I bought an EA game recently. Which one? Titanfall 2. Good. Yeah, yeah I enough. heard it's good, but the it's problem good. is it's still an EA game. It's no, EA good. are the underdogs now. They, the they, they the alternate underdogs. between being the overdogs and the underdogs. Everyone has shat the on dogs? them for so long <laughs> that now you know they're trying to actually make an effort. Since they won the golden yeah, turn in the really years in a row. Now. I mean, it's not, it's not Ubisoft, Ubisoft anymore, because they're getting bad fucked now. by... Ubisoft are pretty... They're getting <laughs> fucked by, is it Vivendi? Uh, well, no, they're trying Viacom to get taken someone? over by Vivendi. They're Let's not Vivendi. necessarily getting fucked. Uh, I think they're How's probably Konami getting fucked. How's Konami doing these days? Yeah. They um, are releasing a new Bomberman game Bomberman for the Switch. Oh, that was there. That was there. Oh, oh, was it? Oh, yeah. I didn't get to play that, though. Is it Grimdark Bomberman? No, no, it's like no, normal it's nice Bomberman. Bomberman. Yeah. How do you make Bomberman Grimdark? Have you, have you not seen uh, Have you oh not seen God. the Xbox 360 Bomberman one? Act Zero on the oh 360 my God. is like Gears of War Bomberman. Oh it's awful. God. Never ever think about it again. Put it from your mind. Has it so, been cancelled yet? Like, what? why no. is Konami now making Bomberman? I thought they stopped making games. Like, what's, it's, what's the it's deal? It's just going to be a download title. So yeah, but I'm so happy Jeff because I love Bomberman so Bomberman's much. Bomberman's great. I barely played any Bomberman. I uh, find Bomberman to be tedious at best. Don't, uh, don't talk to Kazzy about I plan Bomberman to play it at some ever point. If, you, if you see him. Why? Because he, but... he was going to win a tournament at the Eurogamer Expo and get like a prize of a console or something. I can't remember what it was. But he didn't win. He didn't win, and I think it was Bomberman that fucked him over. <laughs> I'm pretty oh, sure it was did. Bomberman. Because yeah. he's bad. That man who bombed. That beard. That beard. He bombed. <laughs> I didn't get it. Uh, I also am not sure what the joke is. Because he failed at the competition, and, be, and bombing means that you failed, so he bombed. And the joke is because he lost on Bomberman, and that's oh, the joke. Oh, it's a funny joke! I don't get it. Ha! It's 
funny. Trust me. Laugh. This bit won't go into the podcast. Spec, right? then. What, 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 ha- what happened then in this? Okay, oh, so yeah, let, I'll go through stuff in the in the order I can recall playing it. Okay, so, so here you tell us about a game, and then after you've told us about it, someone we'll will interrupt you and we'll start bickering about something irrelevant. Yes, that As sounds good. Okay. As so, is tradition. Right at the start, maybe the thing to go for should have been Breath of the Wild, but Although, yeah. I mainlined it for the snipper clips because I'd seen that being played on the treehouse, and I was like, "Snipper clips looks fun." It was a good thing to do because actually the line for that thing went out the door by the end of the day for some yeah. reason. Wow! Well, what is it? It's, it's a puzzle game, right? Yeah. Snip- snipper clips is something that looks like you find it on Newgrounds because it's it's very like simplistic mm-hmm. art. Um, I've got a video here of it, actually, if you wanted to see some of it. Um, and So, Specs, can I ask you, it, this seems like a, a maybe a point to ask, uh, what was like the hardware and the controller like? Because this okay, one looks yeah, we, like it depends on you having half of a controller. So, and then... Yeah, th- for this one, you played with um, one half of the Joy-Con each, or one Joy-Con each. I'm not really sure what the terminology is. You're playing with half a controller, essentially. Yeah, one Joy-Con. So you use the analog stick to move. Um, there's one button for jump, one button for cut and then you use the shoulder buttons of which where where the joy con locks into the controller if you take it off uh, on onto the pad sorry onto the, like the the screen um if you take it out then there's two little buttons mm. in like the the groove where it would slide into the yeah. um into the tablet yeah cool. those are your shoulder buttons um yeah. sl and L- sr i think they're called yeah that's it sl and sr and also you can attach like a wrist strap to that area and then that makes the triggers a bit nicer to to push mm. um and you use those to rotate your body um and <laughs> That's that was essentially the controls. It worked really well with the little Joy-Con. Um, I can see the Joy-Cons being a good idea it, for games like this, where there's sort of easy controls. I can see it working for 2D platformers because all you need really is to run and jump. You you don't really need a, any large amount of buttons. Anything where you don't really need camera control, so single screen games and stuff, it, a single Joy-Con on its own works all right. Um, How did they feel in your hands? Um, like when you it's, hold it's one too bad, with both actually. hands. Like I thought it was going to feel quite small and sort of dinky, um, but it felt all right. It felt about the right size to, to sort it? of play that game with. Did you have the the one with the stick in the middle, or where is actually? Uh, for that one, I think I had the one with the stick in the middle. Yeah. Okay. Does it feel like it should cost forty Great British pounds? The controller, the, jo- the single Joy-Con, a single Joy-Con costs forty pounds. A like pair the, of them cost seventy. If you want to buy them as a, 70. as a pair, no. Oh. Does that, it feel well, like it is that? Well, a single uh, we'll PS4 that that controller is. costs like forty-five quid. Yeah, so. yeah. But controllers are bloody expensive. But these days. both together cost eighty dollars. Seventy pounds or eighty dollars. It's too, too, I guess too much. Controllers shouldn't cost that much. I guess this is probably the time to ask about the, the Pro Controller as well, because that costs £65 as well. The, the Pro con- Now, let me think. I think I used the Pro Controller, but it might have just been two Joy-Cons locked into the shell thing. Right, I can't okay. remember. But either way, they, they'd be the same thing. Did like, it have a D-pad, it's... basically? Or did it have four uh, buttons? Let me, no, I didn't shape. actually. No, I didn't get one with a D pad. All right, so that's I the Pro Controller the pro has a D pad on it. The, yeah, you're right. the Joy-Con in the shell does not have a, yeah. a D pad. But I think if you were gonna buy um, another thing, it would be a better investment to buy two Joy Cons and a shell than one Pro Controller. I that disagree to, with that completely. One hundred dollars. On, mm. on a personal basis, I would disagree with that. No, one hundred dollars because they don't have a D pad. Because they don't have a D pad. Well, yeah, do you think they'll true. do a Joy-Con with a D pad? I imagine point? that that will happen eventually. But Third if you've party. got two Joy Cons, you have two controllers for games like this. You can use Absolutely, them for I, you can I, use them for Mario Kart Eight. I agree with so that. you get um, you get <laughs> four controllers rather than two controllers if you invested in two Joy Cons rather than two Pro controllers. Yeah. Um, so I think it I think it can work and for sort of on the go play as well, it's quite nice that 
they're quite easy. They're, they're really small. Like you can conceal them within your hand. So it's, you- it's easy to take them around. Like the, the thing would, I could, you know, hide it in my fist, essentially. Do you know if you can actually sync four Joy-Cons with one Switch? Yeah, so you you can do, and apparently the way you you sync them is, um, you know how it's really annoying on the Wii and the Wii U where you've got to go into that menu and then you've got to hold down the sync button on no. both the console and, yeah, the, pisses me on, off. and yeah. the Wii? It's really annoying. It's when with you're the, taking your Wii remotes to other people's houses, yeah. that's when it gets fucky. With the Joy Cons, you just slot them onto the oh, um, onto syncs, the Switch, yeah, yeah. slot them off, and they are then synced to uh, the Switch. Makes apparently, sense. Um, so that's good. Uh, <laughs> I guess it'd be good to talk about. Do, do we want to discuss snipper clips some more? Or I think we've. I'm what watching this this video. The two people playing snipper clip, and it pisses me off how little hand eye coordination they have. Yeah, oh, well. me and me and my friend, because um, you got a plus one at this event, uh, we blasted through it. Um, and the the girl sort of running the booth was like, "Wow, not many people finished it yesterday. We were the first people in there. We just <laughs> destroyed it. We were like, yeah. The kind of people that end up going to these things, though, is is that sounds about right. I yeah, went to the Eurogamer Expo. Someone who managed to get lost in Sonic. <laughs> the, the, the the nice Sega lady had to come over and ask, "Are you lost?" <laughs> Yeah. Yes, I shouldn't be at Eurogamer. I'm, I'm, I'm going to some other event. I'm going left. Help. <laughs> How do He's, I go right? This guy's like a pro at like racing simulators and stuff. He drives with all the 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 assists off. He does all sorts. But that 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 was beyond him. Sonic. So no. What go. did you think of the second game you played, Specs? Okay, I think now would be a good time to talk about Mario Kart Eight from a Joy-Con perspective um, as well, since we've talked a bit about that. So right. I played Mario Kart Eight. Uh, it wasn't the second thing I played. I think it was about the fifth thing I played. But um, we we sort of we queued for Mario Kart Eight, and they had they had a ring of eight people um, playing in like the local multiplayer mm. mode. So you can you can play locally if you have eight Switch tablets with up to eight people. And I assume if you've got four Switch tablets, then you can play with eight yeah. people with two screen. two players yeah. per screen. Nice. Um, that which would make sense, but I, I'm not sure if that's actually how it would work. Um, we played two player on just. Just me, me and my friend played two player on just one um, Switch screen, which um, was actually not too bad. It wasn't too small. We were sat at an all right distance from it, um, and you could see what was going on. The screen is 720p, and it all works quite nicely. We played the new battle mode with the um, the new arenas in mm. Mario Kart. Actual 8. arenas, actual yes, arenas. Wow. Yeah, they brought them back. There's there's five new characters. I think it's um, Bowser Junior, King Boo, uh, Dry Bones, the and the two Inklings. The yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not sure how many um, battle arenas there are, but I think five, I've seen think. at least. Yeah, I've seen um, the Inkling one, the Urchin Underpass. I've seen there's one recycled from either GameCube or Wii. That's the Boo's Haunted Mansion. Yeah, that's there's one thing. that looks like it comes from the Super Nintendo. That's yep. just like a big square area. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think the one of the Blockland ones from like N64 might be back. The one with the sure four the one blocks with the, one with the four colored zones was fun. Yeah, 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 yeah the, I think that's, that's the best block one. Four, I'm cool. not sure about block that four, one, yes. but I think I've seen that one. Um, I'm not sure about any others, uh, but it looks like they're apart from the Inkling un- underpass, they're all returning. Um, the guy couldn't tell me whether there were any more than what I'd seen, or whether there were any extra um, like race maps as well. They've, they've not announced any. Yeah, they haven't announced anything. I think it just um, includes the DLC ones, it doesn't did, yeah, it? Yeah, that's what they've said so far. But I think there was a new cart as well, because I don't remember there being a Koopa I think they've added a Splatoon cart. Yeah, yeah. there's some yeah, new cards. Yeah, there's a Splatoon cart as well. I don't think there's any new wheels or um, gliders, though. But you can also hold two items now, whereas in Mario Kart 8 Vanilla, you could only hold one mm-hmm. item at a time. They've also added the... Uh, I'm not sure if it's just in battle mode, but they've added the um, Feather from Super Mario Kart on the yeah. Super Nintendo, and that lets you jump. Um, in Balloon Battle, if you jump and um, hit someone else's balloons while you're jumping, then you steal a balloon. Ooh. And they've added back in the um, 
the boo item as well that lets you go through other races and steal their balloons um, and go through damaging items as well. Um, and yeah, the, it, it was quite nice. The arena was a good size. Um, I think it was eight player. We played with like the two of us and then six CPUs, um, felt like there was a lot going on, but the, the map didn't feel constricted at all. Like you were having to dodge shells all the time. Um, it ran well. It, it didn't seem to stutter at all. Um, that was in tablet mode. Uh, in tablet mode. Yeah. Um, and it was like, they fix it. So it's always 60 FPS now. I th- yeah, the guy told me it was 60 FPS even if you played four player. Yeah, they've said that. I think okay. it increases the resolution if you do I'd, that, I'd but it, it maintains the frame that. rate, which is what's yeah. important. Which uh, with the Wii U one, it was uh, 720, 60 FPS up to two players. And then if you go yeah. three or four, it becomes 30 FPS. Yeah, yeah, that that's right. Which makes uh, more sense than hmm. decreasing the resolution with split screen. That I makes no would sense. say it makes more sense to I'd maintain the frame rate than the resolution, the resolution. game. I just you always already, prefer you already, to re- reduce the resolution. <clears throat> you already have these tiny windows. I mean, but yeah, but it doesn't make that much difference. With it that. depends. Yeah, I, I like guess TV, docked mode really, doesn't make doesn't a difference it? at all. I guess. Um, so we played that with the Joy Cons as well with the wheel. So they've got little tiny wheels for the Joy Cons <laughs> to sit yeah, in. They have. So they're like a third of the size of the Wii wheel for oh Mario God. Kart Wii. That's um, so cute. Like, which they they are like. really cute, and it felt really nice to to hold as well. Um, and yeah, it's got it's got triggers on the back so that you can use items yeah. or you can drift. Um, it's got one on each side, whereas the Wii one only had one trigger for um, drifting. Um, and yeah, it, it was quite good. That they've they've done it. This time, so that at any point you can switch between um, <laughs> between motion control and analog control. That's but good. I was using analog control, and I'm one of those people who tends to like turn <laughs> like the, the controller <laughs> while oh, I'm God. using the analog control. Oh, so it does both at the same time. Oh, I don't no. know if there's an option to turn that off. I really hope there I is. I assume there I, is. I steer with my body. You, like, yeah, it, Nintendo it, are not classically good at providing controller configuration options. Yeah. But, or general configuration options. You couldn't even change the volume balance in Mario Kart 8, if I remember I'm right. about to be even worse at Mario Kart. Yeah! On, <laughs> the, um, on the Wii U, it was, a, it was a toggleable option in the menu. So also, you could say, I want steering with the with the stick, yeah. or I want steering with motion if you were playing with the gamepad. It's, so uh, it's, I think maybe it'll allow you Maybe they will. This, I this think with the gamepad right you could also toggle it on the go. To, um, yeah, you to could say, if you tap the screen. None of the Wii or Wii U controllers will work with the Switch. None of Which them. Which no. is a bad move, That's in my opinion. That's a very bad move. Um, because well, the Pro uh, Controller it, at least should work yeah. with it because it's no, the, the same No, the Pro Controller has no gyros. It is true. The um the the Pro Controller A has no gyro. B doesn't have their high definition rumble thing. Do the Pro is. does and the it, Pro and Controller it have on the Switch have, have gyro though? I am not sure actually. Because if it doesn't, then there's no reason that you shouldn't be able I know, to right, use the Wii U for it. The, what? the, the, does pro, the, pro, the pro Controller. controller have? No, no, no. It does not have. On yeah. the Switch, not the, the Wii U. Oh, oh the, it, this one does, yes, it does. Yeah, the oh, new does one does, it, I think, yeah. yeah. Right. Mm, that would cause problems. I have a curiosity. It does, it, does anyone know if, like... Because, I mean, does anyone have the PS3 controllers of Ford compatible with the PS4? Or whether the uh, they're not, no, they're they're not. So, Xbox I don't know... definitely isn't. I don't know why we're expecting this from Nintendo. I thought it was Nintendo a really nice... Because Nintendo have always been Because Nintendo quite generally good tends to do it. it. No, uh, they Because the Wii once. controllers are... They've done it twice. The, Wait, the when the second The controllers time? can be used with the Wii Yeah, but quite, not with native Wii games. With some Wii with, games, With some. Though, with quite Smash a few. and Mario Kart. Which is what matters. Uh, Smash Dope and Mario Kart. Kingdom yeah. will will use the GameCube controllers, oh, for yeah. instance, and that's a very good game. And then they released the um, the adapter for the Wii, so you could still use your GameCube pads. And on, they on started the uh, making Only them for again. Smash, Only for Smash and Virtual. You Console can stuff. use the Wii controllers. Are on they the not Wii compatible U with as well, GameCube? The Wii yeah. Wait, are the new GameCube controllers not compatible with the old GameCube? No, the, sure they are, the, they, the new adapter new you can use to play just Smash Bros on the Wii U. Yeah. No, I mean the uh, they started making GameCube controllers. No, no, yeah, the new still, GameCube yeah, controllers. I'm pretty work. sure still work on the yeah. on the old GameCube as well. They're just yeah. like normal GameCube controllers. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, so that's a bit disappointing. Again, it's another way that we're going to get bitten if we want more controllers. It's, and It's more the fact that the controllers cost so much. It is. Yeah. Yeah. And with Nintendo games, Nintendo for me is typically a couch multiplayer yeah. experience. I, Nintendo's online has never been good. I don't think it's going to be much no. better because they've added a paywall for it. Yeah. Um, so I... I don't think that it's good that I'm going to be having to spend a lot of money for extra controllers. I, I feel you like get a free game for a month. You get cost. a free game for a month that then di- disappears from your library. And it's, only and in, it's just uh, a virtual NES console well. title. Yeah, which... it's, no, no, it's not only just a virtual, it's only NES and Super Nintendo. Yeah. And, you know, <laughs> they're, they're selling me the ROMs that are actually uploaded from scene releases from back in the 90s when we started emulating no. this stuff as well. No. They've got the same intro At the moment, as... I'm looking at not subscribing to whatever it is that they're doing because oh, I yeah, can't think no, of many things. Like the thing Splatoon is, is the only thing they've Splatoon got Splatoon I would out. consider, but Mario Kart play the first maybe. one online. Mario Kart, I can do without. I can Mario play the Kart's Wii U on version. console multiplayer for me. That's I'm not bothered about online. So, yeah, yeah, I, I would Splatoon happily does keep out. playing the the Wii U Spl- version online because there's no difference other than on the battle mode. This well, sounds... there's, the point. there's the two items thing as well. well. But the th- I think the th- that's a bad point, actually. I'm um, not too keen on that anyway. So yeah. Yeah, it is a very bad point. I think the balance in Mario Kart Eight was just right with the one item. Sorry, cats. Uh, what were you saying? All right, yeah. Like I've I've been, you know, buying Nintendo shit for a while and it see I I always thought they either always like either tried to broaden their s- stuff so that casuals would buy it or they tried to squeeze as much money out of their like hardcore fans I've as possible. Both. So I've never seen both at yeah, the same it's, time. It's, it's an, an interesting, interesting approach. <laughs> <laughs> this is their approach. But, um, yeah. One thing is that of course they're selling this as an alternative to both the handheld that they have and yeah, the hu- the uh, home console that they have, so they might lose quite a lot of money from just not having two consoles that everyone buys maybe. instead of one. But so maybe it's more expensive just to make up for that. You, what what strikes one... me is that the PS4 is like ridiculously much more cheaper. Yeah. Than... Than the Switch will be, and the PS4 has games, and the PS4 has a library already. And if you subscribe to the online, you get free games every month. Yeah, I say free, free in inverted commas. Yeah, but it month. works out as something like six pounds a month. For, yeah, and it's not you, that know, expensive. you wouldn't have to buy games. So my cause... only comment with the online that they've that Nintendo have mooted so far is that it better be really fucking cheap. Or they better do something to sweeten it's, the deal for it, it otherwise it's, it, it's yeah. not competitive. The thing is, it's still the website still says planned for fall. And yeah. It doesn't say coming for fall. America. I have le- I, I have very little faith that's in America. that they actually it necessarily drop come here it? as well. I don't think they'll drop it, but I think I don't they'll think have they'll a, a deep introspective look at themselves if they want that to succeed. Mm. Special offers for subscribers may may include no. discounts or select. <laughs> but this is the thing they already have with my Nintendo is that no, it's if crap. You, it is. It's it's really crappy. It's it's not. It's like get thirty percent off a title if you've spent sixty pounds in store in the last it's, month, and it's like thirty percent off that title on your store Nintendo is the same price as retail in the shop. They make they make all of the mistakes that everyone else makes with online services. They're worse. Like everything Nintendo costing the same, worse. and then they make more mistakes on yes. top of it. Yeah. Okay. Like Steam uh, has this thing sewed up. You know, it's had it sewed up for years now. Themes. You buy games online digitally because they're less expensive than going to retail. If it's Steam not less expensive than retail, easy. what's the fucking point? There isn't was, one. What was Especially next? with 32 gigabytes, again. Exactly, they've added only 32 Yeah, you're gigabytes. not going to be downloading. Not okay. expandable, isn't it? Is it expandable? It, yes, it is. Yeah, oh, 200 gig is max expansion, I think. How do you, you expand can... it? Is it... SD. A, SD card. Micro, micro SD. SD. Oh, the micro SD card out, goes um, under the kickstand. It's a non-replaceable battery, by the way, and it's only 4,300 milliamp. Yeah, two to six hours, they've been saying. Fuck! What? Okay. It's 4,300 milliamp. What the fuck are they doing with their lives? I don't know what this means. 4,300 milliamp the, uh, you have? is less than most phones have nowadays. It's like a hamster wheel going for, like, three hours. What phone yeah. do you have, Shiny? iPhone 6S. iPhone 6S battery. Yeah, your phone had outstripped it. Your battery has... I'm trying to find it. Real time fact checking brought to you Woo! by Moogle. Checking. We can we can cut it, Google, yeah, we can cut, cut it in out. post. Make uh, it sound like Moogle knows what he's talking about. 
Well, hang on. Say it with confidence, Moogle. Mm. Have a look. As if this, this seamless <laughs> sentence actually occurred. Um, and then it oh, takes it three hours to charge. And it takes three hours. Board. If you're not playing it, it takes three hours to charge. An interesting thing about the Even Joy-Con though they've used USB C. Even though it uses USB C. An interesting thing about the Joy Con controllers is that they are continuously charging while they are attached to the screen. Therefore, to maximize your screen's battery life, you should unplug the Joy Con controllers while playing if you were, say, mm. out and about. Maybe yeah. harder to hold because you might have to balance it between your knees and your ornaments. Um, well, it's got a kickstand on it. So. Yeah, well, but what if you're on a bus? You know? <laughs> your knees and your like, I would not be playing it on the bus. That is not a thing I would be playing on a bus. On a train, definitely, but on a bus, probably okay. not. Well, Why not you get more space on, on buses? On a bus, I would probably be using it with the Joy-Cons on the side of the system. This is the thing, but then you're oh, wasting yeah. battery. If you're, you're, you're not wasting, battery, wasting much battery, though, are you? What you should yeah. do is, really. uh, is attach some sort of uh, pole to the centre of your head and then <laughs> attach the switch screen to the pole and walk around with it. Isn't that how VR functions? Pretty much. Pretty much. Pretty much. <clears throat> Have you got an, a, a value for... The, the, the iPhone 6 actually has quite a small battery. <laughs> Ooh, Doesn't surprise 2,900. me. But on the other hand, Apple that's not doing 3D again. graphics all the time. Whereas a yes, switch it will is. be. Mm. How much does the uh, Xperia what? X... No, wait. Xperia... Z2 have. Take one go all day. Xperia Z2? Yep. I'm opening up my fucking phone now. I suspect that that's actually a fair amount of, in terms of actual like battery life, and it's if just. If you think that... about it, it's outputting 720p. Well, this is the thing. It's, it's doing a lot. That du- during like it's probably probably right. not too bad. And the I... thing about phone like CPU and phone hardware is that it's basically not under load very much, and the screen isn't actually on for like that large of a time. Yep. So, but if yeah. it is, why what, Google? Why I, am I about to disconnect from the internet? Maybe I yeah. am. Who knows? Yeah, you are. But I really think that handheld should have. I still remember like my original itself. Game Boy Color without the backlight. That lasted for like weeks of just occasional playing Wario Land uh, Three. But that depends. I'm on to reconnect. Yeah, that's occasional. That's the who, who does not it? ever just occasionally played a Game Boy Color? Duracell. I do. I'm reconnecting my internet. Also, the uh, the original 3DS also came with like three to five hours of battery. I I reckon I can make okay. my yeah I can make my 3DS battery last probably longer than that. I think yeah. I've I've been like three hours on a train before and only had half battery gone. So on the it. If you turn Z2, on the like power saving backlight thing, the Xperia Z2 has a 3200 milliamp battery. Mm. Wow. This one's got, so the Switch Being has a 40, 4300. Yeah, and, and you know the best thing? The, the Xperia Z2. Why do I want to say X2 all the time? Z2 battery holds for like a week without charging. Yeah, exactly. This and so it comes up to optimization. Yeah, it depends what you're doing with it. Yeah, that's, um, why, they, that's why there is such a huge difference that they said, like two to six, two point five 2.5 to 6 hours. Yeah. It'll depend on on what sort of graphics yeah, like you do. Yeah, like snipper clips are probably snipper clips will play for ten you, hours, you know, and so, Breath of the Wild not so much. No, iPad, Breath of the Wild holds three. iPad Airs have yeah, an right, eighty-eight hundred milliamp battery for, for comparison purposes. Yeah, how long hold it? Double the, the Switch's battery. So, and they also okay. these, these are like the contemporaries that you would reasonably expect to be able to compare the Switch to, though. In yeah. fairness, yeah. in terms of. The things I mean, that what, the alternatives to it. Now the phone battery. What about say the Nvidia Shield? Because that's that's. Why do people talk as though people use Nvidia Shields? It's, for it's true, but it is it is kind of a it's comparison. Out. Um, right, do we want to move on to ARMS? Yeah, I want to hear about ARMS. ARMS. ARMS, ARMS, the Fox. Arms. ARMS. Sonic's new best friend. So ARMS is like Wii Boxing if you were actually Monkey D. Luffy from <laughs> One Piece. Um, your arms are made of rubber. How did that happen? You took a bite of gum gum. Um, 
so you play as these people who are probably robots that have springs for arms. Um, the game is controlled using what they call a boxing grip on the Joy Cons. So you hold oh, them. Yeah. You hold them with the the shoulder buttons facing towards you. Um, towards so that your the thumbs. Thumbs rest on them. So the S, L, and S, R buttons, the place that would normally clip into the screen, is pointing away from you. You've got one in each hand, so you've got like a boxing grip on them, kind of. Um, the game is is controlled in movement by moving both of the um, the the Joy Cons together in one direction. So you tilt by, by left, them. you move left. You tilt right, you move right, just like Wii boxing. If you tilt forwards, you move forwards, which you couldn't do in Wii boxing. You tilt backwards, you go backwards. So you're no no longer at a set distance from each other like you were in um, Wii boxing. You can jump with one of the shoulder buttons that's on your thumb. And you can dodge with the other shoulder button that's on your thumb. Um, there's also a special button that you, you press to uh, activate your, your super attack um, on one of the other shoulder buttons um, that are next to the ones by your thumbs. Um, to punch, you punch. Um, to grab, you punch with both hands at the same time, as if you were giving someone a hug. Um, it's actually... It, it was quite fun. Um, so me and my friend played two rounds. We got to play as two different characters each um there were five characters available in the build that we played and there were two arenas um one of the arenas is kind of just a square and then there are bouncy platforms on the side that if you jump on them you'll you'll bounce up um and the other one there's a lot of sort of uh test tubes sort of giant like mm. cloning pods essentially which have these robot spring people in so it looks like they've grown in like a lab um and you can hide behind them for cover um what's interesting about the punching is when you punch you can curve your punch by mm. then twisting your fist um as your Ooh. punch extends out so you can curve it out and around a tube that you're hidden behind and then hit your opponent uh, without even having to see them so you can use the um use the the cover uh and also still hit from behind it um each character has their own special ability so there's spring man i think is is the default kind of guy i can't remember what his special power was if he has any it may be that he dodges better than the other people um there's ribbon girl who can jump like three times in the air i think whereas other people only get a uh, double jump i think um there was a ninja guy who when you're blocking um he can like teleport uh, if he blocks an attack i think um there is master mummy who is a big fat guy and while he's blocking he can heal um and there was mecha zoid girl i can't remember her name she could dodge while she was on the ground i think was her thing um each character gets different boxing gloves as well they can equip, and you can equip a different boxing glove to each hand, which allows you to do some sort of strategizing. Um, and depending on whether you're a light, medium, or heavyweight character, you get different boxing gloves, and they do different things. So one was like a homing torpedo-type punch, so no matter how far wide you threw it, it would always go in and hit, but it did less damage. Um, one was like actually did three punches in one, like staggered after each other. It was called the revolver. Um, there was one that was like a boomerang that sort of came back quicker, I think. If you missed, then that would be helpful because you, you wouldn't um, be left open so much. Uh, there's, there's quite a few um, different fists. I didn't get to try all of them out. Uh, some of the fists, while you block, they'll charge up and then your next punch will be stronger. Um, the game uses a sort of rock, paper, scissors formula where punches beat grabs, grabs beat blocks, and blocks beat punches. Um, so it's, it's quite simple to get behind. But with the fact you can curve your punches and stuff to avoid, say, with, with a grab, um, a punch will knock a grab out of the way. But if you were to grab and curve the grab round a punch that was incoming, then you might still get the grab mm. without being beaten out by the rock, paper, scissors formula. Um, I'm making it sound kind of complex. It's not really. You just sort of punch each other repeatedly and then when you get your super you activate that and punch some more you get knocked down you get back up again you punch some more 
So is it, uh, is it similar to like Punch Out in terms of like positioning and, and dodging and stuff? Or you have you more are... like monkey boxing from Super Monkey Ball 2. You, you huh. do have a lot of movement and you can dodge quite a bit. Like when I was playing as Ribbon Girl, because she can jump around a lot, my, my friend was playing as um, one of the like fat characters. So he was really slow. He just couldn't hit me. Like I, I beat him twice in a row without even losing like a quarter of my health. Um, whereas then I played as a fat character and I found it difficult because I couldn't move around so much. So depending on who you're playing as, you do have a lot of, a lot of, uh, movement and there are strategies. Like my friend was using the revolver fist, um, and I just couldn't really get past that because he was hitting me like with six fists essentially mm. at the same time. Um, whereas if I'd been playing as a character who had one of the larger fist types, then I could have just like beaten his fists because my fist would have been bigger. So there is some strategy. Um, the thing to think about with this game is, yes, it's fun. I had fun with it, but I had fun with it for free. I don't yeah. know how much fun I could have with it for sixty pounds. And you had fun with it for like what ten minutes? The ten minutes, yeah. Um, yeah I could just... see myself playing maybe I don't know ten rounds back to back, and then <laughs> you know stopping. If there's online, it's not the sort of game I'd want to play online against people. Mm. I don't what, think. what world do we live in where Nintendo has decided to release a full price fighting game as one of their launch titles for their and console? a new IP? And a new IP, I guess. Yeah, That's I mean, a very odd thing to do. I'm looking forward to this becoming an IP because invariably, when the next console comes out, we'll have Joy Cons to strap to our legs, and then we'll God. be playing legs. <laughs> legs. Um, Arms, by the way, is not a launch title. Yeah, it's not, is it? Actually, when I think it says it. release in spring. No, uh, the in spring. Uh, I didn't get it. Uh, That's funny. That's funny. Uh, yeah, but. Um, Oh, I get it. If you th if you think <laughs> about <laughs> if you think about how many characters they've got, they've got five characters on show there. In a in a like new fighting game, maybe twelve characters is optimistic for how many characters they'd have playable. Mm. What are they going to have in terms of arenas? There's not so much you can do with the arenas. I I don't think um, in terms of making them all individual and interesting. Uh, there was a third one I forgot to mention that I the, the Master Mummy one with the trampoline um, in the middle. Yeah, there's a trampoline in the middle. If you break the floor there's like a spider web trampoline um but they're not too varied to be honest the three that they showed maybe there's gonna be some out of this world amazing crazy campaign with a heart-wrenching story about spring guy and ribbon girls love across borders Mucha lucha. But, but probably not probably it's gonna have like a single player world like pre an arcade mode, mode pretty much yeah, yeah like an arcade mode and well, a multiplayer that gets stale after so these rounds. are the kinds of things where nintendo should focus on making like a smaller game at a cut price i think something like that yeah yeah i, but they I won't. just don't think It'll it's going to be worth game. 60 pounds yeah and people at all. won't probably buy it that much cause... i don't think people yeah. since it's a new ip as well i don't think people care it's not I mean, well, Splatoon, Splatoon as a worked IP, because was Splatoon vibrant, had a number of different Splatoon things going for cool, it. Yeah, and it looked it fun from the beginning. Fests, and it had, it had a single player music. mode that was a puzzle, action puzzle game kind of yeah. thing going on. And this is just like, yeah, you punch it's a fighting game with your also, ring arm. Also, this looks a fair bit blander, i got to say, in terms of aesthetics compared to something like Splatoon or compared yep. to something well, yeah. something relative like that that's near to it in terms of but game then, design I mean, ideas, like a, a Lethal League, for example. But then yeah. Splatoon had the, the whole like early 2000 Sega thing going for it, which is where it's taken all of its aesthetics. Very sort of Nickelodeon-y. It is yeah. very Nickelodeon, it's very um, Jet Set Radio-y. Yeah, Sonic Adventure. As Whereas as this, concerned. this is this is like this is Wii Boxing Plus. Yeah, to me, this is Wii Boxing yeah. Plus. It's not even Wii Punch Out, which was amazing. In, yeah, in <laughs> yeah. Facts. Thanks, Next Level Games, you're the best. It's uh, just it. It was fun. It was definitely fun, but it wasn't sixty pounds. Right? Yeah, that's that's what um, I worry about. One thing they're really emphasising with these Joy-Cons as well, is the HD rumble. Yeah. Uh, now is a good time to talk about that. Does so, it destroy your entire hand can when you, it rumbles? Can you really feel 
two or so three ice, ice cubes I've in the glass. Heard, I've heard, <laughs> we'll get to that, we'll get to that when we come on to one, two, switch. Oh, but uh, oh. with this game, like, I've heard, what well, I heard one of the Treehouse people who works at Nintendo Treehouse, so obviously they're a bit biased, um, say, yeah, you could, it really feels like your arm's coming out in, like, a spring and then it comes back. And I, I me and my friend talked about it afterwards. He was like, what do you think of the HD rumble on that? I was like... Yeah, it, r- it rumbled. <laughs> like when I used the boomerang, it felt a bit rumblier. Um, it's I. They're trying to sell this HD rumble. Why do people just have nothing? No, this is why all care. of their controllers cost so much at the moment. This is why they cost because so much. because they've got oh, this yeah. HD rumble thing. Feature creep. Well, and if I... you think about it, they do have feature creep because they've they presumably they've got a lot of the motion control shit yeah. that was in the Wii Motion Gyro Plus stuff. in there now. Well, and everyone has that the... now, though. That's the pro- they... everybody has that now. Well, no, they don't. Like everybody's other, had HD other motion controllers aren't as good as the Wii Motion Plus stuff, haven't they? I don't know if the HD Rumble thing is. I don't. New, I think the HD Rumble is completely made up. You know how you know how you no, make no, Rumble. Uh, you put PlayStation like Four an, controllers have those too. You put like an off-center motor, and then you you know a weight that's off-center on no. a motor, and you spin it around. That's the whole concept. Doesn't the X There's nothing controller have more you can do with it. Trigger Haptic sensitive feedback. vibration. Haptic in it, feedback. In it. Unless, it does, doesn't it? I've got unless, one of those. I've never used it because I use it on the PC. But it gives you it work, a but. slight electric shock that's proportional to like the amount mm-hmm. of rumble. That that I would quite like that actually. Couldn't that cause me cancer, cats man? Yes. Do you oh, hug God. people by punching them with both arms? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, you do. Oh, are you talking about the game? And then you no, I'm it. talking about you. Okay, uh, moving on. Moving that's on. How I, yeah, that's how I hug people. <laughs> happy Man just squeezes <laughs> you, you know. until you die. That's um, how happy works. Moving on. We're so, in let's talk about 1-2 two Switch since we're onto the HD rumble. Let's talk about milking a cow. I'm let's from not. The, I'm, let's yes. please not. I'm from the West Country, so I was very uh, excited to play... Cow milking <laughs> simulator on the One Two Switch game. Now, One Two Switch is a um, it's like a mini game compilation game, and I think this is priced at fifty pounds. Fifty dollars. This is Wario. Fifty dollars. Not as bad. Fifty dollars. Forty. Forty-five. It's still too much. Pounds. It's too much. Let's Bargain. talk about the games I played on that. So um, there are more games than the ones I played. I don't know how many games there are in the entire package, but. Milking a cow. So me and my friend sat down. We were instructed to look at each other and not the screen. Yeah, that's and we it, were, isn't it? We were told you have to press... Um, you held it in the same way as with um, uh, arms. So you held it so that the uh, the triggers that are where it slots into the screen are yeah, yeah. beneath your fingers. You had to press one at the top button to grab the teat of the cow. And then as you pulled down, you had to push the bottom button as well. Now, if you can imagine doing that, if you just get something in your hand, say your phone, and uh, just just think about how holding it with just your bottom two fingers and then trying to press two buttons with your top two fingers. Yeah, These are small buttons and this is a small controller. It was very awkward. And then you pull down on the cow's teat. And, My brain can't pass anything you just said. So. And, and you worry. milk the cow. <laughs> And you can feel a bit of a rumble as you milk the cow. Now, I don't know if you people have ever been in contact with a cow. It's the but rush of milk. I'm, I'm pretty when, sure that they don't rumble when you milk them. When I have been in contact <laughs> with cows, they have not rumbled. Um, and it, it didn't feel like I was milking a cow. It felt like I was pulling a rumbling controller down and then back up and then down. And I milked 11 glasses out of that virtual cow that I could not see. While I was staring at my friend, who See, was is, looking very <laughs> uncomfortable, because he knew I was beating him at milking the cat. This this is one of the issues <laughs> I have with the entire idea of this game is that when WarioWare Smooth Moves came out on the Wii, God, that's a good game. It's it's great, and one of the reasons it's great is because it puts it it puts the different poses that you have to pull with the Wii remote in your head because it gives them personality. With little names and little fucking intro things yes. like yeah, on the, in the funny introduction, in the funny little introduction, a very funny yeah, introduction. One two switch, as far as I could tell, it it wasn't doing that, and I I'm not entirely sure why you would choose a game like that, which didn't seem to have that much personality going for it. Did it? Did it? 
I no, Plus, so it doesn't. Eight games. What, what happens with the way you are taught to play these games is you get a little pre-recorded sequence of real-life people, oh my God. real actual oh, human oh, beings no. playing the game, dressed in up in costume, dressed no. in costume. So the two people were dressed like um, American farmers. Um, wearing straw hats and dungarees, and they were showing us how to milk so a cow. This um, is this is a. I'm trying to think of the word that I'm looking for. Where the fuck is it gone? This a is a compilation of mini games. No, no, this... no. It's. I'll figure out the word in a minute. It's fine. So it is th- not Nintendo. This land. game now. No. I after playing this particular cow milking game once, I would not think. Oh, hey, that was fun. Let's milk another cow. I would think, right, let's see what the next game is. So, with, uh, without further ado, let's see what the next game was. The next game was Safe Cracker, which is not a cracker that you realise is going out of Don't date tomorrow, so again. you eat it, uh, and it's still safe. Um, it is a, you can imagine, it, it's a combi- combination lock, um, you know, one of those ones where you, you, you hold your stethoscope up to the safe, and then you twist you twist the dial, it. and then it, you know, it clicks, and you go, oh, it's clicked. Let's go the other way and click the, the next thing. you got to crack the safe. So the way you do this is you hold the Joy-Con much the same way, and then you just twist it until you feel it start to click in your hand. And when you Can feel a big a click... Yep. Can I ask a question? Does it rumble when it, it does. clicks? Yeah, it rumbles. Wow! And it, it rumbles as you turn it, and then it rumbles more strongly, uh, like Knuckles getting close to the Master Emerald Shard. Um, when when you get to to the point where you're going to get the click, and uh, you just hold it there for a second, and it clicks, and you've lit up one of the little bulbs at the top of the screen, and then you twist it the other way to find the other thing. This game was uncomfortable because if you wanted to go to 180 degrees, you had to twist your whole hand all the way around and down. Yeah, while I was you're about to say they, they can't probably put all 360 degrees in there because yeah. you can't turn your hand that much. Yeah, you've got to go all the way down, and then if you want to go the other way, you can get down to 180 degrees, but it's it's it is very hard. I'm trying to do it now. Can, I, can I just say this game? would trigger me immensely purely because I actually use safe style locks as part of my job and <laughs> they don't look realistic fucking way like that they don't fucking vibrate or click they yeah, well, do guess, any of that shit guess what Moogle I'm a physicist That's... and you can't double jump in real life oh my Moogle. god Moogle, that... That's more of a disappointment <laughs> than anything else though I mean I I've uh, yeah I mean I I I think maybe it's an old type of safe Moogle that they, you know. None of them do that. Back, no, I'm sure they used. To. None of them do that. Back Moogle, the can you times. crack a safe for me? I need no, you to, it doesn't like, work like that. I need you to turn the dial back and forth. And I know it. people that can do that for you if you pay Moogle, them, but no. Do any, of, do any of the safes at your work have HD Rumble with them? No, That's <laughs> the I can confirm that that is not. The I'm case. imagining your safes like a little... tell how many ice cubes are in the glass, Moogle. No, none of them can. None of them are that smart. On that note, we we'll do have move some on that to are resistant to final limited. Game. We have some we'll, of those. We'll move on to how many balls in the box. Yay! How many balls in the box is just what it sounds like. You hold the Joy-Con as if you were holding a box, and then you roll the Joy-Con around to feel how many balls there are in the box. And occasionally you'll get a bit of a rumble to one side of the Joy-Con or the other, and you'll go, hmm, that felt like two balls hitting the edge of my <laughs> box. And uh, you, you'll think, two well... Two balls hitting you know, the Joy-Con. edge of my fucking face. As I pay more for the Joy-Con than <laughs> that's, I'm supposed to. That sounds like an episode title. <laughs> that feels like two balls hitting the edge of my box. Um, no, that feeling. So, you you feel it. Thanks, and it did actually, <laughs> to be fair, it did feel like marbles rolling around in a box and hitting the edge of a box. And I thought there were three marbles initially, and then I thought, mm, maybe not. And then my friend put four marbles, and I thought... Hmm, maybe it is four marbles. So I copied him and I went with four marbles. It was three marbles. Hey! Um, and that's that's the game. You roll it around. C- can you see this game being fun for more than no. one play? So no. Can you see yourself thinking, I want to go back this and I want is... to roll no. the balls around To be the honest, again. This, this entire game just sounds like a big tutorial on how to use the controller. It's, it's a not tech even demo. that as far as Which I'm concerned. It's a fucking it tech a, demo. It's a tech so demo for I think HD Rumble. Why are, they, why are they making you pay for it? I think it's a party game for casuals who don't want to buy video games It's a party with Mario games on it. for casuals who That's... go, ooh, it's rumbling. Yeah, ooh. but I remember like Wii Sports was fun. Wii, Wii Sports, Sports yes. Resort yes, was this fun. Is my Nintendo, Nintendo Land, Land was fun. Nintendo, Nintendo Land, Land is one of my favorite games. Yeah, it is amazing. Um, and 
I would love a Nintendo Land too. Well, so how the yeah. fuck did I not invite Specs to the the meetup? How did that fucking happen? I, 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 I'm not around very much, so oh. you the know, problem I'm, I'm here. New. Neither am I. Well, if you want to <laughs> fucking come to my house at fucking this weekend coming up now, then you're fucking welcome. Maybe maybe after my exams are done, I'll start coming to meetups and stuff. That's all right then. We're well, gonna exams. have a big fucking meetup in the summer once I've graduated. By the way, just so you guys know. Oh. Cool. You guys want to come to my house? That's yeah. my bathroom conversion will have been done by then. Let's, let's nice. do it. Let's go. That's the problem I see with one to switch is thanks, Mumble. In in contrary to what they did with Wii Sports and Nintendo Land, here they put the emphasis on two player local cop. Most games they don't even look at the screen. Yeah, well, that's the thing. They don't want you to look at the screen with one they to don't switch, want and you that's to look okay. At the screen. That my but... friend kept looking at the screen because he didn't know what he was supposed to be doing, and I, I, I had to keep looking and going, "Are we starting yet? Like, what's happening?" Because if it, we were in a noisy environment, we couldn't tell what we were supposed to be doing. He didn't know if he was milking the cow, right? You know, which <laughs> <laughs> it was like, "What are we doing?" So the next game in this compilation was samurai i i think it's called samurai training um one character plays as the samurai and has to try and chop the other player in half but it's they're actually just using a wooden sword because violence is bad the other player has to clap their hands with the joy con to act as if they are catching the sword and the idea is to psych your opponent out and uh, make them clap either too early or too late so that you hit them with the sword um it's it's fairly you know, I mean you could play it with like a wiffle ball bat you or see, something at home, and it'd probably be more fun because you'd actually hit your friend in the head. Yeah. There's, <laughs> there's no there's no little jingle that plays. There's no like animation that shows you besting your opponent like there would be in WarioWare. Yeah, there's the just problem. a little still of the the man they dressed up as a samurai for this game looking victorious while the other guy is kneeled on the ground crying because so, he's a failure I, at life. I've got to say, commit Sudoku. this How game really even... sounds like it was made by an intern in like five yeah. afternoons. It really does. I reckon, you know, it's the, the whole game is just slideshows. There's no actual. Like, this is this is a no mobile game, graphics but not being sold at the price of a mobile game. And it's terrible. Even, I, is even Nintendo's problem. mobile game isn't sold at the price of a mobile well, this game. This is it. I know. So, but that's got quality to it. The next game is Simon Says, which they called Copy Dance. I think. Um, yeah. It's also JoJo Pose Simulator. <laughs> uh, nice. I I threw my best Vogue. Um, poses and uh, i actually lost um to my <laughs> friend who can clearly vogue better than me now what we were told during this game was that the joy con is able to feel the position of your entire body when you strike a pose <laughs> no. a rumble. now i'm not sure but it it did pick up that we were being more energetic when we were being more energetic because it gives you like an energy um Pose score and uh, there was some other score like how yeah, well you copied it's your friend. The fucking are actually more precise. couldn't detect what f- fucking pose a person was doing, and that's a camera. Yeah, it also couldn't detect black people, if it's I recall. True, it but couldn't, it but couldn't. No, that's funny you Microsoft say that. Is my, my, I've said to my friend, I remember when we were playing these games when the Wii came out, and he said to me, I remember when we were playing these games when the eye toy came out. I said, <laughs> not wrong. Yeah, and that was more fun than this, actually. Yeah. So, Copy Pose was actually quite fun. It's the only one I think I could see me playing like a few times in a row because it's it's just it fun. Has and it's like, it. can you do what I do? And it's just a three round thing, and then it tells you who copied the best and who who did the best poses. Essentially, um, the last one was High Noon. Can or... I can I make a prediction here? Yeah, is this basically the controller vibrates and you have to shoot your opponent? Uh, actually, no. The controller doesn't Fuck me. vibrate. They missed a trick there, didn't they? It's uh, it's actually the the game uh, the the screen says ready mm. and then draw. So they missed a trick that they could have used the rumble to sync both of them together and then you shoot each other. Yeah, they could have done. But uh, this one was this one was fun just because of the the girl who was running the booth. Actually, she made us like role play. Nice. <laughs> so she was like, "Right, you guys have got to like square up, like you are the baddest cowboys." Narrow your eyes to each other. Yeah, all that she was like, stuff. "Right, you're the outlaw and you're the sheriff." And uh, my friend was the outlaw. He was like, "I am going to steal all of the cows." <laughs> 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 I, 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 I was like, "No, 
No, you will not steal my cows. <laughs> you can be Sheriff Woody now. It's and then great. We shot each other. Yeah, she she said, "Do you guys like cowboy movies?" And I was like, "I haven't really seen many. Does Django Unchained count?" She said, "Have you seen Toy Story?" I was like, "Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> there's yes, a snake in my boot." Um, and uh, you know, the, you could have just pointed at me and said, "You are someone a toy." Poisoned this, the, there was another. This this town ain't big enough for the. Two, two of, of us, us. That's the one. Know, uh, I don't like you being in my town I don't like you being in my universe um, so yeah and you just draw and you shoot and it's very similar to how the samurai game is you know one of you will just win oh, and so then, it's basically like you know. the Kirby samurai mini game yeah, from, that's what I was from Kirby say. Superstar it is yeah you're right and um, they could have just done it with rumble and made it better because then you would have been it's like oh it's rumbling I gotta go but again you don't look at the screen until the game is over and then <laughs> it, this one was good because it showed you how many milliseconds you had taken to As actually shoot the other person it slows it down it shows you exactly but, what your joy-con was doing from naught would... to one seconds mm. So, but they they were doing that in 1995, whatever yeah. it was, with Kirby Superstar. Help! Yeah. Help! It's uh, being oppressed. This 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 is the game. Those were all the games in one two switch. So, so, but on the other side, while on that topic of the the replay that it shows you, so do the motion sensor actually very very precisely predict where it is? It seemed like it was like. Before we started, obviously, our hands were shaking a bit, and it showed that the Joy-Con was shaking up and down a little bit because we were getting pumped for the upcoming second of glory. Um, and then, you know, you see it rise to the point. And if you if you don't shoot, if you don't get your gun up high enough and you shoot, then it doesn't count because you it detects it. It knows that your ground. gun isn't high enough. If you go too point. high, then you shoot their hat off. But th- there's no animation for this. It's just you lose. Like so, it'd be good if it showed you shooting the other person's hat off. So something. here's a question for you: Do both of the Joy Cons have the little camera sensor on them that can? Detect? One of them has an IR sensor. So one of them has the other one does not, though. Yeah, the, the other one doesn't. Yeah. Okay. And no one's ever going to use that thing. This in is a game. the thing. I feel like they've not learned anything from the Wii U, which is it where they tacked like their they little controller on stuff. On a lot of little gimmicks that they've yeah. thought this will be great, and then they do it in practice. And this is the worst and no one, one yet. Uses them the thing is, no one can I can't even imagine what you would do with it. Well, I, I can imagine some very interesting games, things you might do really. with it, but I can't imagine anything that you would do with it because developers aren't going to do that. Nintendo might, though, in fairness, because yeah. Nintendo yeah. are the only people who actually the make Nintendo games on their consoles. Nintendo to come up so, with a good hey. idea, but this time they haven't. This time there is no good idea. There's no Nintendo Land, there's no Wii well, Sports the Resort. Thing, isn't it? There's it's no disappointment. these. Let me think of the other games that they showed. Because if you had, the like, the IR screen, sensor the thing, you could have set, stood a set distance from each other. The IR sensors might have been able to talk to each other and say, oh, yeah, you are pointing at my, at my holder. I'll, I'll let you shoot him now. And maybe you're not pointing at each other. I don't know. I don't yeah. know. The only other game I know, it wasn't at the <laughs> event, but there's one that is ping pong. And again, you don't look at the screen. You have to listen for the sound <laughs> of the ball <laughs> bouncing. <sighs> And then you have to hit it back. Blind ping pong. Okay, right. Blind so I can say, pong. right, one of my friends at school was blind, right? And I've actually, I actually played some of his blind people video games, and oh. they, they're a lot more exciting than this sounds. <laughs> what a blind people Rhythm video Paradise, games, Rhythm like. Heaven is going to be fucking amazing on the Switch, though, if they ever bring it out. Yeah. With that, with that rumble, that's going to be amazing. Nah. Oh, if they do, though, if they do. If it clicks in... In, t- uh, in sync with the beat. Exactly. That's what I'm thinking. That's that's what's in my brain right now. But I, I still need to while. get the 3DS one. I played the demo and it's, it was really really funny. It's full of personality. Let's we go with me. I played the uh, the Ooh. the lumberjack thing and what the hell is going on? What the, <laughs> with the lumberjack? The cats, the cats yeah, with, with the cats and with the wood wolf chopping wood. You're chopping wood. That's what you're doing. And the what's cats are starting to waggle.
Yeah. Okay, so okay. one two switch is the sort of game that should. It's like you know that Face Raiders game on the 3DS. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe reality shit that comes go, with the game, right? Yeah, this is crap. I'm never playing should this have again. Been... That's one two switch. It should have yeah. come with the game. One two switch should come either installed on the console or preferably as a as a cartridge because if it's installed on the console, I've got even less space. Yeah. Not that I think it would take up much space. No. Um, and the videos do. Un- yeah, probably. Yeah, that's true. Videos would, unless it has. Over 100 of these yeah, crappy mini like games. No. I don't think it's going I, to capture it any has like, attention. It has eight. It sounds like a game for casuals that casuals won't buy because it's a full price game, and casuals don't buy full price games unless yeah, they're Yeah, it seems stuff. like the sort of thing that maybe right. your grandma would go, Oh, this looks fun. Let's buy this for Billy. And uh, then Billy wow, would be Billy like, Thanks, five. Grandma. I love this game. Like those Features. Brazilian ripoffs of Pixar oh, movies. No, no, no. Yeah. Brazilians do not get ripped off because they have no paid online. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> the Brazilians anyway, are turning the profit. I. <laughs> Let's let's disregard one two switch as an aberration. Yeah. And so I played uh, Fast Racing Remix. Neo. Uh, yeah, Fast Racing Neo Remix, which actually is not as fast as I was led to believe. It looks fast from a distance, but then you get up and you play it, and you're like, actually, Mario Kart Eight is probably faster CC than this. With two hundred CC. Two hundred CC. It looks very nice. Uh, it looks very nice on the Switch. Um, I've seen it played on the Wii U, but I haven't played it on the Wii U. I guess it probably looks about the same i think um it's uh it runs very well um and it's just more of the same with fast racing you know what that's gonna have to compete with though later this year red out no it's gonna have to compete with wipeout hd hd if you can see that one and red out and red out and red out actually looks like it's super fast they all look very similar i think i think fast racing we were playing the subsonic league in oh, fast so the, you're racing. playing you're playing fast games but slow. We were playing Babby mode, and I asked mm. the lady what other leagues are there, but I don't think she really she. Yeah, she I don't think not. she understood what I was asking because she yeah. she didn't give me the response I wanted. I assume there's like a supersonic and then maybe an ultrasonic league, yeah, so I can see likely. it being quite fast. Yeah, um, with the uh, red out that was n- that was not announced, and this, I only saw a trailer on YouTube yeah. for it. That there, it's kind of like uh, pod racing. As when yeah. you're in first person, you see engines in front of you. Is Red Out the one that was made by the former people from Psygnosis slash Studio Liverpool? That I don't, shut know. Down? I don't know. I don't know. Because one of them is by the same people. No, that's it, Formula Fusion. Formula it's a developer Fusion, I've never one. heard of. So, yeah. But, but it's a Switch exclusive, I think, because it was it the is, only yeah, logo because, on the yeah. video. Well, they, they made it for the, the Wii U originally, so it doesn't surprise me entirely. Okay. So, but no, it's there's quite a few like futuristic fast racing games coming out in the next year or so. There's the, F Zero um, is not one of them. F Zero is not one of them because they can't work out what to do with F Zero, which is unfortunate for them. Well, what what they should work out is people just want more of the same, but yeah, but with better graphics, fast and online. This is the thing that always gets me about Nintendo because people like rail on them for, for doing rehashes, rehashes and all that stuff. They haven't made a an F Zero game in well over what, like fifteen years, fourteen years. I think years? it came out two thousand and five. Uh, yeah, GBA GBA was the last one. GBA was the check. last one. Yeah. GX was. The Are last we sure one. the GX wasn't the there last was, one? The last one to release was a GBA. Okay, like, so it was a GBA yeah. one. So it's been at least like twelve years. At least twelve years since they've made one. Not counting the Nintendo Land thing. Climax that was count. in 2004. 2004, so thirteen years now because they can't work out what new to do with it. 2003 is as on the you box of F0 GX. You don't do anything new with the yeah, advances Yeah, but they do, because that's technology. how Nintendo works, and people don't really twig. Yeah, that. I guess Mario Kart 8 is F0 now, anyway. Well, yeah, thing, because so. it's upside down. I really like walls. Mario Kart 8, actually. I think it's probably the best one yet. Mario Kart 8 is really good. Mario Kart 8 is very really, good. Really Especially good. 200 CC. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I have to use the brake button. My, when I play with my family, they tell me to turn it down a level. I'm like, no. No. <laughs> 200 CC. You guys CC. are going to come in last yeah. either but, way. But again, <laughs> uh, what you just said, 
you play this with the family. It's a with me. It's a Christmas tradition that I bring the Wii U into the living room and we play Nintendo Land and Mario Kart. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Every Christmas, buy, every new year. Mario Kart oh, I tell first, you what, I played so. with my family this Christmas. I played fucking Quiplash. Oh, <laughs> and that got oh, fucking oh. out of hand. Yeah. <laughs> one of the one of the answers we got, like. Three of the answers were the Holocaust and two were Auschwitz. Nice. Uh, <laughs> I think it was a bad historical cafe idea. Um, but, right, where where were we going? Oh, so the only, other thing, the only other thing I played, if we want to move on, is um, Breath of the Wild. Um, <laughs> I didn't actually get to play a full 20-minute demo because oh, there was a long queue and the first two times we went to queue for it, they said, no, the queue is closed at the moment. The last yeah, time we went to queue for it, we got in. But basically, would have been fine. We, we got there right at the end of the day and we were like, oh, we're at the front of the queue. We'll, we'll get to play. There were two guys in front of us who I know were together. And these two guys, rather than going to one console, as would be courteous, given that, you know, there are other people waiting to play and it's the end of the day, they went to separate consoles. Uh, So if two o'clock man happens to be listening to this podcast, then you're you're a bit of a dick. Um, Well, your your friend who went... How long did you have to wait in the queue out of curiosity? So, waited in the queue probably an hour, maybe. Wow. That's not the the worst that I've I've done myself. Oh, no. Yeah, but this is 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 not packed. This was a small event. I waited two and a half hours to play Bayonetta 2 once. Oh, yeah, I've I've done that before at Gamescom, but I got five minutes with this, whereas I was supposed to get 20 minutes. Yeah, This is the thing, because it was the end of the day. The end of the day. Um, I got to see a lot of it from being in the queue. Yeah, yeah. So my initial, the worst thing, right, is, so you, I assume you've all seen the intro bit. You come out of the cave, you yeah. run up to the cliff, you yeah. look yeah. out and the title flashes up. You go down the hill and you talk to the old man. that takes man. like two minutes on its own. Yeah, that, that we skipped yeah. one of the cutscenes, but still. Um, so we, we, I was like, what's in this chest? Oh, it's a shirt. And the guy was like, oh, there's trousers in the other one. I was like, fuck the trousers. <laughs> <laughs> we're going. Didn't put the shirt on. Link's just in his boxes, going nerdy all the way down And you up. should play it. So you get to the old man, and what you can do with the old man is you can actually steal the apple that he's cooking, yes. and he will address you by saying, fuck off, lad, that's my apple. Uh, Only wait just yanking your chain. He, uh, he's like, no, that's my apple, please give it back. And you're like, nah. So is this dialogue voiced? We, uh, this is not voiced. I don't know if it will be voiced in the, in the actual game, because um, I don't know what, this build, what build we were playing. Now, if I was Nintendo and I had set up this event, I would put out the newest possible build of this thing but to say, money. this is what the game will look like when it launches. No. No, I don't no. do that. No, First it, of all, it, they... making demo builds for games is expensive as hell. The game hell. must be finished by now, right? So, the game must have gone. No, I don't think it's, it's out in forty-seven days. Forty-seven days. They've not got long. I think they've got to be yet. printing it by now, and they may be doing some day one patches. But here's the thing: right down the hill, just just after you talk to the old man, you go left down the hill a bit, and there is a little bit of forest and some grass. There's some nice wind effects going on with the grass that make all makes all the grass ripple. This causes the frame rate to drop to yeah. about 15 frames per second. Now, I don't know if that's the same on the Wii U, because I can't remember this bit from back when they were playing this on the Wii U. I don't know whether this build is a final build or whether it, it's it's the same just plateau area that they were showing on the, on the Wii U build um, last E3. Um, but it's the Switch version, so I don't know if it's updated and they've improved how well the performance is on it or not. But this is the thing. If I were to to start playing a game with, you know, like this, and the first thing I do is run down a hill and the frame rate tanks to 15 from Doesn't 30, bode well. it does not inspire confidence uh. in me. But the thing was, this only happened in a few areas we could see. So we were monitoring all the screens that were around us, and every time something would happen, I'd be like, that looks like a potential frame drop coming. And we'd look and we'd see any area where there was a lot of grass and there were wind effects going on, the frame rate would just go down. Was it in tablet mode or docked? It was docked. Um, I think what the statement they've made is that it will play at the same frame rate docked or um, in tablet mode, 
but the uh, the output resolution in docked mode is 900p. On the tablet, it's 720p. Um, there were a couple of other times the frame rate dropped. There was one area that the frame rate dropped similarly, where there wasn't so much wind or grass. But then when I when I came to that area and other people came to that area, it didn't sort of cause that problem so much. It may have been because during that point in the demo, it was a different time of day. I don't really know why. But we saw some action with up to like three, four moblins on the screen, and the frame rate was fine. Um, the big it's... explosions you can make, the frame rate was fine. It was really weird how it was just this one thing. It sounds like uh, loading new stuff into memory area. Like the game's like, oh, there's not that much stuff on yeah, screen. Yeah, it's probably a very um, unoptimized demo that was also ported stuff. from the Wii U. Maybe, but it. Uh, but this I, close yeah. to release, you know, you've got to you've got to wonder. And I would say to anyone thinking about buying it, hold off and see how the like how well it runs versus the Wii U version, and see which one's going to run better. Yeah. Because I don't know if it's going to have the same issues on especially, both consoles or what. Especially, this is the only demo on the Switch for Zelda. Yeah, yeah. that's the thing. Yeah, this They're is. They're not the going to release a demo for the game, one. though, are they? Let's be honest. Did you, have, did you try? Uh, no, no, I, know, I don't mean. Point, I don't mean that. It's the only. It's the, the only the gameplay say, on sorry. on yes. display demo for. So I I didn't use the map because I had very did limited you see anyone time. Else using it I saw was... other people use the map. You can set up to like eight waypoints, mm. I think, and they they show up as different sort of. Um, different waypoints on yeah, your map. Yeah. If you go into first person mode as well, you look through the Sheikah yeah, slate yeah. Um, and you and can, tag, things, and you things, can yeah. tag things from first person view that will then show up on your map as these points you can set. What I guess I was getting at is that if you are playing like a full build of the game, you'd be able to find the other areas of the map as well. I Whereas think, the demo no. that they've shown before didn't have any of them active. It, just it looks the... like it was very similar to the builds that yeah, we've seen on the Wii U. The yeah. yeah, it... We'll see. Like, and e- there may be a day one patch, but yeah, maybe. not sure. But anyway, getting down to the actual game. Um, so the only weapon I used was the axe, I think, because, like I say, I, I <laughs> didn't get much use. That's the only thing you could find in five minutes. Oh, no, I, I, I got a stick as well. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yes! uh, I chopped down a tree. Um, the trees oh. will sometimes drop sticks uh, yes, when you do. chop them down. Other times they will drop Deku leaves, which are quite nice because you can use the Deku leaves to create like wind, like the Deku leaf in Wind Waker. Mm. Um, so you can use it as a sort of ranged weapon, which is fun. If you find a little boat that's got a sail on it, you can also use the wind to push yourself around. Um, that's not so how physics works. That's, that's that's how physics works. I think you can. Um... Oh wait, are you pushing into the sail as you stand on the, on the? That's totally how physics works. That's how physics Definitely works. It's, it's how magic. Works. One hundred percent. How physics works. Um, I saw other people use other weapons like the Bacoblin Club and the uh, the rusted sword as well that you can find quite close. I saw to the some start. gameplay footage of someone using the fire rod that looked entertaining. I I didn't see anyone use the fire Big rod in bouncy this, balls of fire. Yeah, that, I've seen it yeah. used. I've seen the ice rod as well. Um, so you attack with the Y button, you jump with the X button, um, and Ooh. the, the you B jump. Button, you jump, can jump. Yes, a jump, you jump button. jumping in my Zelda? It's yeah. strange, yeah. Um, the B anything. button lets you run. If you run and jump at a wall, then Link will sort of do a wall kick on it and try and climb up it, mm. and then he'll grab the wall. You can climb practically anything. You Good can old climb Skyward trees. Sword. You can climb up trees to pick up um, pick up an apple off like the branch of a tree. <gasps> um, you can you can climb a lot. Obviously, it's hindered by your stamina meter so if you run out of stamina you'd fall mm. off and maybe die from falling one interesting thing is when you die the game will give you a game over screen if you die in combat then it gives you a red game over um, <laughs> if you die from like falling or killing yourself i think you get a different like a blue game over maybe you get a different color depending on how you died and uh, it's mass just, effect all just, over again just a little just a little bit it's quite you get nice. different color i think if you run out of stamina while you're swimming you drown i saw someone drown but i didn't see why they drowned so uh, <laughs> Um, but the stamina meter runs out fast if you're running. Mm. It's worse than Skyward Sword. Oh. Oh. Yeah, but they, the emphasis here, I think, is that you can cook meals and stuff that will you increase your stamina. Meals, you can cook meals, mushrooms right. restore stamina, you can cook mushrooms, obviously. I think from... I asked the guy, as you progress in the game, will you get a larger stamina meter? And he, d- he said yes, but I don't know whether he, he definitely knew that for a he fact. Was, he was definitely just saying it. 
to you make you feel it. better. Yeah. yeah. Um, one thing about cooking that's interesting is you don't actually have to necessarily have a pot to cook anything. Mm. So you gather all your ingredients and you can chuck them into a pot. I saw a guy try and do this because obviously he'd seen it in builds. Mm. Like he'd, he'd seen gameplay of it and he was like, I'll try and cook all this stuff. Got all his food items up in his hands and just chucked them into the fire. <laughs> <laughs> But actually what came out was a few new items that he hadn't like nice. seen before, uh, which included um, roasted apples is one of them, and mm. uh, toasty Hyrulean shroom, nice. which yields slightly more health than a regular um, Hyrule mushroom, I think. Yeah. So that was fun. Um, I was I was talking about the controls, wasn't I? Sorry, I went off on a tangent. Yeah, can so, I ask about the, the Pro Controller? How did that feel? Does it feel like a premium product? So, again, it wasn't a Pro Controller. I think it was just Oh, you think the, it, Oh, sorry, no, you, you thought I, it was I, the, the shell, Yeah, it was, it was definitely just the... Um, the, the shell. What do you call them? The, yeah. yeah, the shell with the uh, Joy-Cons. Um, for this, it felt fine, because actually having the D-pad as buttons for this is good, because the yeah. D-pad buttons let you it's select items. Things, so the right yeah. D-pad button lets you switch your items. You hold the right D-pad button and then use the right stick to switch... Which, uh, oh. which which weapon you've got equipped? Link cannot attack if he doesn't have an item equipped. He just sort of scratches his back as if he's trying to pull out a sword from a, <laughs> from a sheath on his back that he doesn't have. Um, I think the other buttons will let you do things like quick select uh, food to eat or maybe sets of armor as well because there's lots of different armor you can get in the game. Things like you know, things with the sheath that's like to arm. Is everybody a robot for anyone else? Yeah. yeah. No, man. I, I am I a robot for me. you, Kat? Specs is a robot for me. Can you say mm. that again, Specs? You went robot. Sorry, is that better? Am I not so robot now? Yeah, yeah you're fine now. So okay, so the D-pad, um, holding right on the D-pad lets you switch your um, weapon, and uh, I think holding left on the D-pad would probably let you quick select like food items. Mm. I think the other D-pad buttons maybe let you get out utilities like bombs or things on the Sheikah slate, like the magnet power, stuff like that. Um, the A button uh, lets you. The A button's just the action button. Um, I kind of want to be able to rebind the jump button to either a shoulder or the action button, just because I'd want it to be closer to the run button, because uh, you have to hold the run button to run. Um, Which one is the run button? Uh, B button, so it's the bottom button oh. uh, on the controller. So they the, and it, jump is the jump one X. is the X button, which is right above the B button. So yeah, that's that's a bad them thing. Both at once. The I didn't get to use all the triggers, so I don't know what all of them do. Um, the left trigger is still lock on. Lock on doesn't lock your camera in place though. Like in previous Zelda games, lock on has always centered the enemy in the center yeah, of yeah. the screen. Um, now it makes Link go into like strafing mode, so you can strafe around the enemy, but the camera is still free, so you can still uh, move the camera uh, with the right stick. Is that um, good or is that bad? That sounds bad. It, it made it more difficult for me to to see where I was going with, with the enemy. I only got to fight one enemy before they were like, yo, we're closing, turn the screens off, shut it down, no more switch for these gentlemen. Um, I I went up to this moblin full of swagger because I was like, I've seen this game. I know you just dodge out of the way and then you unleash your flurry attack upon him and he dies. I played Zelda before. I jumped like way too early and he just smacked me like out of the park. <laughs> uh, he he knocked me over a wall. Um, I think I managed to hit him and then like the camera kind of got stuck in a wall a bit after I good I'd old Zelda camera. Away. Um, this was while I was still locked on as well, so the the camera was sort of now at a I, it was like a two D fighting game type view almost with me on the right hand side of the screen and the moblin on the left. So I charged up a mighty spin attack with my axe. Um, different weapons have different like spin attacks. So you've got your regular Y attacks that do like a regular three four hit combo. You can jump and do attacks to do other attacks. If you hold down the attack button, then you're charge an attack. With a stick or a sword, it'll just do a spin attack. With the axe, Link will go full on, like, crazy spin and <laughs> just, like, spin around in circles until his stamina runs out, kind of like the whirlwind slash sort of thing from Wind Waker, um, but a bit slower and a bit more heft. I just came at this moblin from across the screen, like, swinging this axe, took him out. It's It was pretty good. Um, yeah. 
and that was the end. That was the end of my demo. I found one moblin and killed it. Yay! Uh, yay! But the I was I was quite pleased to see that the flurry rush actually looks harder to time the dodge for mm. than because I've seen people do it a lot in gameplay, and I've been like, that looks very easy to do. It seems like it make combat trivial. I think with a variety of enemy types who all swing differently, it might be a bit hard. That sounds good. To time it. Um, I also saw a stick or a spear type weapon being mm. used, and that allows you to do lots of short, sort of sharp jabs at the enemy. Um, I don't know what it's like uh, special attack does. It's sort of charged attack, but um, yeah. Uh, you can... I think one of the triggers, um, maybe one of the right triggers, allows you to throw items, so Link will hold it ready to throw, and then you can throw any weapon or anything you hold. You're turning robot yeah, again. Enemy. Sorry. Uh, how, how much do I need to go back? Let me see. If no, I no, no. It's just, it was just then, and now you're fine start. again. Yeah, so you can throw any weapon you've got at enemies. I don't know if you can throw shields. Um, shields deteriorate, weapons deteriorate, so they'll break, and you have to pick up new ones. You can pick up the enemies. There will be legendary epic loot that won't do that. Well, but it'll probably be the Master Sword and yeah. like the Mirror Shield. But the Master Sword yeah. looks like pretty a, much a broken. Top tier of every single yeah. I'd hope, to I'd hope that those weapons, like the Master Sword or whatever, the be- the the ones that don't break aren't the best. Uh, like in Fire Emblem, how with with Marth Sword, like you can always get a kill, but it's not necessarily the easiest kill because you could use a better sword. I hope there's like a really powerful sword that can kill anything in the game, but yeah, there's only one of them, and it breaks after like two uses. The so giant's it's a big knife. One, the, the what's it called? Yeah, the the, 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 the giant knife. knife yeah. yeah. I yeah, imagine that there'll like be that. that there'll be a questing system in the game because it's an open world game. I imagine there'll be some kind of quest system. There better be. I imagine that there will be side quests to get legendary weaponry that never degrades and does stupid damage. Yeah, I mean, I've seen one of the side quests recently on a Treehouse stream where, um, you know, you get the stables where you can, yes. if you find a wild horse, you can take it to the stable. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of the horse guys was asking you to find a specific color. Oh, yeah, so there's, like, there's, there's a white horse with no mottling on it that's, yeah. that sometimes shows up at this hill or something, yeah. So it looks like there will be side quests. Um, I saw one of the shrines, the little shrines mm-hmm. that you get that unlock your new stuff, like the, uh, the, the magnet the powers. Stuff, and. Yeah. Uh, I'm hoping there's real dungeons because the they are real dungeons. I think, dungeons. I think they confirmed that even. I more. think they've said that there would be, but they haven't confirmed what kind and. Yeah, they, they obviously yeah. didn't go into detail. No. Yeah, but it's I think they confirmed we'll that. Soon that's, that's good. I hope this game sort of rekindles the feeling that Wind Waker had of like wandering a- across this like big world and finding all the little bits and marking them on your map yeah. and doing all the little like quests. Ooh, what I does this island do? I haven't gotten that feeling from the last two Zelda games, so I have a feeling mm. that if if Wind Waker had come out now in recent times, and I'm not talking about like the the Wii U port or anything, it would probably be rightly rightly wrongly rightly derided in terms of open world games, in terms of things to do and world continuity. So I'm not entirely sure that you'll see that. Wind Waker, to um, me, felt like a big adventure, though. It was like, yes, what am I wrong. going next? What's the next island? You know, what am I going to find on the sea? I never yeah, felt like it was all connected, uh, though, which I think I think is... you'll find, Moogle, that Wind Waker is actually one of the best games ever made, so you're fucking wrong. But, I wouldn't um, say it's the best uh... Zelda, but it's my favourite. <laughs> Shiny, yeah, shiny I, will I not hear anything different because Wind Wake is perfect. As far it as has it the is. best wandering around. It's got yeah. some of the best uh, music. It does have some of the better music. Obviously. Yeah, yes. this this game looks like one thing that I noticed while people were playing was everyone. I don't know if it was just because they had guy stood by them like an Nintendo rep saying, "Go here, Nick. Look, if you go over there, you'll find some stuff." Blah blah. blah. Lots of people were getting to the same places. Yeah, and I don't know if that was coincidence. It, if it was, then it may be that the game's got, while it's open world, a good way of showing you here's where you can go to find stuff. Like that skull shaped rock that the mob- moblins hang out in. Yeah. You've seen that? Like that's something I would see in the distance and go. Oh, I can gather there'll be treasure there. There'll be some. Mm-hmm. Go yeah, over there, yeah. and then from there, I'd be able to see a tower, and I'd go, "What's that tower up on that hill?" There's... I'll go there. Nintendo from... are classically quite good at doing that in yeah. terms of guiding you through to different things. They're that normally okay of, at that. That was one of the feelings I got from seeing all these people play it. 
Um, of course, you could just go off in a random direction and do something. At stuff. the same what? time, I'm, I'm encouraged by the fact that in interviews they've said, yeah, you can, you can start the game up and go straight to Gannon's Tower and beat the game. Everything yeah. will one-shot you, but you could do it. In, in your undies. Um, in your undies, yeah. One guy I saw With a stick. found a swampy sort of bog mm. thing, uh, which he couldn't like swim through. It was just muddy, and he drowned and died in it. Yeah, I still um, have all that in some footage. And, yeah, so it looks like there's going to be a few different environment types, even in just the plateau, yeah, yeah. which is nice, because we like, nobody got to any icy areas or no. anything while I saw them playing. There's about to be volcano yeah, areas. We, 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 see, we can see Death Mountain. Yeah, we can see Death Mountain. Um, there's, there's a flying island in the sky. It's a it's desert, great. like a gorilla. Mm. There's cool. Something's there. What um, the... How unique. Never seen that before. Never seen I wonder that if Knuckles the Echinacea lives there. I wonder if Gruz is up there. Well, I hope so. aren't I there like, it. aren't there like, isn't this like a compendium of Zelda stuff? Like, I've already Could seen be. the tree people, and there's bird people, how, how much and do there's we spoil? So, well, Before we get to that, how much do we want to spoil in this podcast? What do you mean, spoil? It's in a fucking trailer, you yes, piece of shit. Yes, and I've so far... <laughs> do we it's not a spoiler spoil- if it's in a trailer. I you haven't watched like, a single trailer for Skyward Sword, Sword and I had no idea what Sword. Skyward Sword was about, except it was about the Master Sword. Boy, it was about being the worst Zelda ever. It sure was, because it's it ha- shit. It, it, had, it had by far the worst companion. Oh wait, we don't have Happy Man with us to... Uh, it's to, it's to, maximum of two out of ten. Is he a Skyward Sword, like, Sympathizer, defender. yes. What are your opinions on the voice acting and the quality of it? Uh, did, the only voice acting we heard in this was the Link, wake up, open your eyes yeah. bit, and I, I skipped that as soon as I could. Yeah, yeah. I bet you did. Um, I really hope that you know they I don't, don't go I the don't voice acting route. Come to these events and go. Oh, I want to watch all the cutscenes. Like, yeah, no, exactly. That's skip not, those that's not the and play the game. It. Um, yeah, I, from I, the new trailer where I've seen voice acting, I thought it's it's all right. I've actually mm. listened to it in all the different European languages. I, well. I watched this. I, to say, I, I, I watched this different languages. The English one is has the worst Zelda. What uh, Zelda has lie, no yeah. emotions it's, whatsoever. If the game will let me, I would like to play this game with English subtitles. But perhaps Russian voiceover because I don't know. <laughs> the Russian, Russian one isn't and too bad. It would sound the most like a made-up Hylian language to me. <laughs> <laughs> I want there to be an option, like a Hylian option. I where think the, be voice uh, the thing is, just go, since you get the European <laughs> version, you can probably put on like Italian or French. I mean, Nintendo are the masters of making up a language with Animal Crossing, which has um, <laughs> uh which sounds amazing. I don't know. Similar, I really like pretty good. Animalese. It sounds, it's good. There's also, uh, you got Midner and Fee. Midna they both had made good. up languages that sounded well, like Midna was proper just languages. Samples. Midner's is like samples that have been chopped, changed, aren't they? Well, so is Fee's, I think. Yeah. I think I think I'd like that more, but then I mm-hmm. see, I can I think there's a ninety percent chance of that being. The I case. like that Nintendo's put voice acting in this because it shows maybe they're moving in a direction to I don't know, get more casual people who are into stories. At the same time, I kind of liked Nintendo's bullish insistence on doing things their way. And I, yeah, I like yeah. that bullish insistence. The rest of the and they still have text most of the time. Yeah, because. Yeah. I like being able to name my character and have the character say my name. And it fucking pisses me off when I'm playing, like, okay, I love Deus Ex, right? But you could call JC Denton whatever you want in Deus yeah. Ex. And then the game totally ignores it and they yeah. just call him oh JC Denton the whole time. You're and you know, <laughs> I just want to be able to call him something stupid. And I like reading more than I like listening to yeah, bad voice acting. I agree. Yeah. It's and I epic. often find that games that don't have dialogue in them have more, like, story. I mean, and... The reason I like Dragon you... Age. Yeah. Dragon Age was and, great for that. And the uh, thing is, it is not just about dialogue. It's also about just stupid one li- I mean, what the, the stuff you've seen from uh, fucking Scalebound with the protagonist during combat spouting stupid lines all the time. Yeah. Do you want something like this in Zelda? No. no. I don't. But they've, they've made the right decision and not made Link talk. They also made the right decision. On the other hand, it. though, if you get like stupid one-liners all the time, you get God Hand, which is outstanding. <laughs> 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 Have you guys seen the uh, Nightmare Before Christmas um, Devil Might Cry beat 'em up type game? What? A- anytime Jack Skellington uses his weapon, uh, he says the name of the weapon, which is something like Soul Slinger. 
<laughs> so every time you attack in the game, you go, um, Soul Slinger! Mega Man Maverick Hunter X on the oh, PSP yeah. does exactly yeah. the same thing with every single Maverick weapon. Fire Wave! Fire Wave! Mega Man X really had a problem with that kind of shit. I Burn really to the want, ground! I really, really, really want Cats to play Maverick Hunter X on no, at some Mugle, point. No, Moogle, it'll just but he piss me off. Uses. That's why I want you to play it, you fuck! Fuck you, <laughs> Moogle! You're playing it at the meetup. Okay. We're recording so, it. <laughs> final thing fuck on Zelda you. about yeah. controls, actually. The first thing I noticed was, first thing you do after waking up is you run over to a thing and pick up Link's new iPad. And uh, I ran past it. And the reason I ran past it is because running with Link in this does not feel so much like you are controlling Link as you are steering him. Yeah, that's one of those. Which is not It good. was the same thing in Skyward Sword, really, wasn't it? Where you, yeah, kind of, you start running like and then that. you you find it difficult to change yeah, and the there's there's, there's a bit of start up and a bit of stop yeah. when you start running. And oh, is it, it, is it like it... Uh, Last Guardian that a lot of people complain about? I think the question yeah, that yeah, we need to be that's asking exactly right the now, right though, sort of feeling remembering what I feel like playing like Eco. I think yeah, you, you sort of move a bit like that. Like you're a bit too you're gangly sluggish. when you run, and you you sort of you steer rather than you actually tell him go this way. Running has physics. It's great. Yeah. Like, I hope that this doesn't turn out like one of those open world games where you just spend like 80% of it like watching a run animation. Yeah, I hope so. Well, it'll be horses at least. There's also shield surfing and gliding, so. Shield surfing is fun. Shield surfing. It does break your shield, however. Yeah. Worth noting. So. Uh, Well, I'm still a bit of a shield, shield, probably. An item that you can just do it permanently with. I think the question that we need to be asking is Link's new iPad, what size battery does it have? Probably about 4,300. Yeah. Fuck you, yeah, I was about to make that joke. It's not enough. It's not enough. Uh, one, one other thing uh, is the stamina meter is very, very noticeable. So it, is, yeah. it pops up whenever you use it, like in Skyward Sword. It's smaller than Skyward Sword's one, but um, you, it's, 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 it's going to be on the screen the majority of the time. And I wish they'd found a way to make it so that it was more of a visual thing, like you could see Link start to get tired. And you could go, oh, I'll stop running now. Or I think they've got like little some way to integrate flashes it. of like sweat coming off. Yeah, the like when I was climbing in the trailer. Yeah. Maybe it's a hard item you can turn off. I think you can turn off some of the hard elements. So who knows? Well, at least we'll it's not see. got the big gold box with it like the Skyward Sword had. Because that um, like a box element on the screen. Like. Well, uh, thing... there are two special editions. One is the special edition and one is the master edition. One will cost you ninety nine ninety nine, and the other one will cost you one hundred twenty nine ninety nine. And they both come with some crap that nobody would ever want. A map and with a Zelda coin. Maps, pla- uh, and pa- I say pla- paper maps are great. I'm sorry. That, it's not paper, actually. It's, uh, it's... some sort of clothy it's, paper if it's material. Cloth map, even better. Cloth maps are the best. Uh, some sort of space age material. Something. It comes with okay. a soundtrack. It comes with a case for the Wii U. Soundtracks for the are always good. Okay. Soundtrack CD. Nintendo Switch. Carry, okay, case, okay. Carry yeah. case, map, the game, obviously, and, and the Master, the master statue, Edition yeah. comes with a Master Sword mm-hmm. statue that is like, what, 40 centimeters tall, I think. Yeah. I pre ordered that. Uh, let me think. Anything else I remember seeing in the game that was interesting? You can cut grass. Yay. But hearts Th- that's and that's don't come basically out. standard. By it's now, good if Zelda. you cut the grass and the frame rate goes up. So uh, I'm glad they gave us that option to destroy the grass <laughs> in order to, <laughs> to increase turn the off frame grass. Rate. That'll be uh, like a speedrun strat in the future. Like I'm just <laughs> cutting like this grass. So we're, ca- we're coming up to some grass now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to equip the fire rod and I'm going to take out that grass before it starts to drop us some frames. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Did you find any other NPCs in the demo? There was only the old man. Yeah. Um, it's the same demo where there's no NPCs or anything. There was a bit in... No, it's just go... if you go to the temple, then the voice in your head talks to you a bit again, which will probably yeah. turn out to be Zelda. Um, there was the one shrine that people went to and they got the magnet power. There was there was an enemy in that, actually, that um, it was like a little uh, little spider bot thing that uh, shoots lasers at you. And yeah, you the thing from the, 
FBI or no, it was it was like a smaller one than the okay. than the big thing. Um, oh Jones. man, I because, love Spiderbot. Yeah. It's got a big fucking laser on its head. I can't yeah. remember the name of the enemy yeah. from. You may have been able to pick this one up with a magnet as well and just dump it in the water. It looks like there were a lot of ways to do things with the magnet, which was cool. Like there was a chest up on a ledge, and I said to my friend, "Oh, so you're gonna have to pick up that bridge and then like." plonk it down so you can walk up the bridge to to get to this ledge that just grab the box <laughs> <laughs> you just grab the box yeah that's about it really like the the physics in it are, are pretty good like i rolled a log down a hill and it rolled <laughs> I, uh, no people roll some boulders down some hills and they rolled and they blew things up when they hit them yeah it's uh, there's, there's a crouch button as well, I've just remembered. I don't know where it is, but there's a crouch button. Probably one of the triggers that I didn't use. And, uh, yeah, that's Breath of the Wild. So it looks like it's got some frame rate issues. Um, I don't know. I Like, what I'm going to do is see whether it runs better on the Switch or the Wii U, and then maybe that will make me think, oh, I should get a Wii U, uh, get a Switch, sorry, if, if it runs better on the Switch, um, or if it looks nicer on the Switch or whatever. I'm going to get a Switch. I think we've already probably. seen that it runs better on the Switch, especially with explosions. I don't know, though, because um, optimization to see where it tends goes. to yeah, happen yeah, we need towards to see where it the goes. end of, of like a game's development cycle, from what I understand. Well, I'm so, sure that the, um, the Wii U version will be a lot 720p and probably 30 FPS if it's going yeah. to be a lot. Although, uh, I don't know if you guys know about the Simu emulator. Um, it just <laughs> reached 1.7.0, and I think it's able to, on uh, on pretty good um, rigs, it's getting better. play Xenoblade X at 60 frames per second. Not bad. So it may be that by the You're time out, by the way. Breath of the Wild comes out, the definitive experience for Breath of the Wild will be on PC. <laughs> uh, which I think is something that happened for, for I think when Skyward Sword or maybe it was when Twilight Princess came out on their PCs before it released because um, someone I'm like pretty sure it would have been Skyward the, that it happened with but no yeah. Skyward was 07 Dolphin wasn't really that usable back then but Dolphin but the, was the same one for GameCube as well, so I can't yeah, remember being same. I remember yeah. one, of, but, one, of uh, the, one of the Zelda games when they came out, they were completed, like someone was playing it like before it had come out on, on Dolphin, I remember hearing. Not a clue. I would, I would imagine it would have been Squidward if it had been anything. Yeah, I remember yeah, Squidward had very, very nice looking screenshots coming out. From yeah. from Dolphin, yeah. very close to release, if not at release. Yeah, it, w- it was it was close to release, but, I think. Um, my my friend who I was with, who's not really into Zelda, uh, he said, "Yeah, this game looks quite fun actually, and I might mm-hmm. get like get the emulator to play it on hey. PC." <laughs> uh, he thought it looked like he's never played Zelda before, and uh, oh, apart from one of the handheld ones where he said he played Link to the Past or something. My only worry is that the the whole open world thing compromises the core Zelda experience. Yeah, we'll what, see. What is the core Zelda experience? The core Zelda yep. experience of dungeoning and getting dungeon items. And but there's a lot of these the shrines, and, and if they get harder as you go along, then you know they could be alright. If there are main dungeons as well, you know, if there's five or six main yeah. dungeons, I think we can compromise on on there being not a lot of dungeons if they've got all these shrines as well. Many. I think I guess my issue is. That if you've not got dungeon items because you've got the open world side of things, yeah, it's difficult to to add complexity and ramp up. That's, say yeah, the difficulty and complexity of yeah. because I always the liked the the linear Zelda experience because you start out very simple with few items and uh, the dungeons and the puzzles grow more complex as you grow more items. As you di- get more items, yeah. But I, what's to say that there won't be like key items that you'll have to get that will then open yeah, the up different areas of the overworld? And I've got no issue with that is... if that's what they do. I hope as... that's what they but do because the that will make is, it sort that of Metroid. How the vast majority of open world games have worked in the past. True. I think it may... Well, if you remember Zelda 1, you know, you could get to a dungeon and be like, well, what do I do here? And you'd have to go out into the overworld and give it, like, yeah. a monster some meat so that it would yeah, give yeah. you whatever item you need to, to get through yeah, the dungeon. Yeah. But um, in this, it looks like you unlock a lot of your items and new abilities for the tablet through these shrines. So yes. either doing a certain amount of shrines in an area will unlock the dungeon... Or you'll get to the dungeon and you'll progress so far in a dungeon and you'll go, 
I don't know what I'm doing here. Like, I can't get any further. But and Nintendo then maybe won't your, do that. Nintendo your tablets won't have will be over. like, oh, hey, Link, maybe you should uh, go do some shrines or something and maybe get the power up. In- but if you've got, like, 100 shrines, this, how can you guarantee that the player's going to go to the right one? Yeah. Um, you could make so, this is... so that the shrines actually uh, are not in not, specific not, locations. Not location dependent. You see, I don't think they'll do yeah. that. I don't... Think I think they'll work. have annoying dialogue that pops up telling you where to go. Link, there's yeah, a 95% chance a sort of... that you need an item that oh. you don't have here. No, it'll be oh, more... fuck for you. When it, sh- when it showed up in the game while I was playing, it was the voice in Link's head saying, Link, look at your tablet and go to the position I've marked yeah. on it. So it'll be, Link, I think there's an item you need and I'm detecting a source of power over here. Maybe there's a shrine there. You should go check it out. And you go, all right, then... But I'll I don't think there. Nintendo will let you get into a situation where you go through like half a dungeon and realize I don't have the item to do this. Well, no, I, I, don't think work. I think they. I think they might do that. Yeah, you might do that if, if, if there's in, not much backtracking. The way that they played with it in Link Between Worlds was that you had to have yeah. that key item to get into the dungeon, yeah. and it told you what the key item was in, like, Yeah, I can the see them doing that again, yeah. And I can see that, that being work. a thing. That, that I'm not a fan a of idea. that. A giant sign in front of the dungeon says, bring this item along. Well, yeah. it doesn't have to be a, an actual this sign. It could dungeon. just be... Like, bring the hammer. Yeah, it, yeah well, that maybe that's... How have it, have it close it. in some way that you... Don't know how to open, and at some the point thing, you get an item. The and just, thing with ah. Between Worlds for me was I had all the items by like four or five dungeons in. I so had them like two or three dungeons in because I just grinded money to buy all of them. Yeah, it it was a good idea, but it didn't really work. I think yet. it works well in that it gives you freedom to pick what you want to do, and if you want to be that guy who just goes, "Give me everything," then you can just have everything. It, yeah, it would work well in this this open world game as well. And I'm hoping so. that's where they've taken most of their influences from, to be honest, because Link Between Worlds was. Pretty pretty good. fantastic, as far as I'm concerned. Mm, I thought it was alright. Like, it's pretty good. I like how you can just, after you get into the Dark World, you can do whichever dungeon you want in whatever order you want. I, I like liked that. the tiny octopuses. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Singing octopuses. An octorock. Kill it. Kill it. never going to get all of them. I got all of them. I can't remember what they were called. What were they? Um, Maya something. They were amazing. They were the best thing to happen in the noughties. Ah, oh, the noughties. Good times right, back then we the had. Was was it? It? No, it was like my years mind. ago. My eyes. That's what they I were. have no concept of the passage of time. What year did that come out? It was after Sky was Sword. Yeah, it was 2011, 2012, 20... pretty sure. No, Sky, Sky was, was, was later than Sky that. Sky was Sword was 2012. Sky was Sword was, Sky was, 2012. was 11. Sky was Sword was at the end of 2011. Yeah, that was 2011. Oh, yeah, it was the end of 2011. Because it was 25, 25, 25. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. 2013. Yeah, November 2013. Yeah, November 2013. Three, well, that was a long three time years ago. ago oh, wow. It came months. out in English territories before Jap- J- yep. Japan. Yep. Before Japan. Before, before Japan. Japan? Oh, my God. Before Japan. Before Japan. No, that was a good game, though. I need to play that again soon. No, that was good. Was, was good. Yeah. Um, An Oxer Rock. Kill it. That's about it, really, for what I saw. I saw a bit of this has been heroes being played. It <coughs> what actually is like that? It was some sort of roguelike like strategy I think. game that kind of yeah, it's got a roguelite sort of element. You if you die, you die. Oh, you gotta great. start a new party. You know what we need? More roguelite games. Yeah. There's yeah. never yeah. Remember when there weren't that many and five. that was a great thing whenever they came out? Remember that? The what? That wasn't that long ago. The what? Mm, when when that a new roguelike like thing came out, and you were like, "Yeah, I love this genre." There's not enough of these games around. Yeah, I remember that. And now there's more than enough. In fact, there's possibly too many. The no. only one you need is Isaac, though, and that's the only one yeah. you give a fuck about. So. Yeah, it's yeah. all about dungeon crawl, stone soup. Hey, I was tired of the fucking Isaac formula after the first game. I like Isaac. I have no issues with Isaac. Why did they go to make games? from the drawn? Style to the 8-bit style. 
I and don't know. That was a very odd choice as well. Yeah, I prefer. I think it's after they shower, stopped but... using Flash because Flash is a pile of garbage. So uh, a bit let down by this is this is not on topic, by the way. But the new DLC is kind of. Eh. I, I hear it's more I mad than the, like, the fan it. project that came out near it. The fact, yeah, that was unfortunate. Like Anti Birth is fucking incredible. Like it's really fucking good. And, and then Afterbirth um, Plus, After Birth Plus really came out yeah. like two two and a half weeks later, and it's just like meh. it's got less than half the number of new items that this fan made project has. It's got one new boss. Like, and I heard uh, the fucking mod tools are garbage. Yeah, basically. You can't do anything that was promised originally. It's That's it's unfortunate. The one thing I do really like about Isaac is I have it on my Vita and it's fucking amazing on that. Because that's perfect. Like Handheld video games are a video thing games. of the past with the new Nintendo, Nintendo Switch. Switch. Play it at home or take it with you on the bus and as a or train. Video game. As I always wanted with your to play FIFA on family. the bus. And if you get a Switch, doesn't would you buy Isaac screen. for it and play uh, it on the go? Huh? What? If you bought no. a Switch, would you buy Isaac Nintendo for it? Nintendo would not no. allow They are about to allow If I, if I get a Switch, games. I'm not going to use a Switch as a, as a portable gaming device. I'm not going to do that. And therein lies the issue, I think. No. You see, I would because I have a stupid commute. I have a very clear division between home console and portable games, right, but and I'm not going to bridge that ever. What happens? Why not? not because I don't want to. It's not to what I want. The 3DS. Yeah, this is the thing though. What happens when your only option, if you want portable games, is like your home console that you can take out of a dock? I'll just you use buy my a phone. Vita. What is it like a philosophical thing that makes no. you uncomfortable, or, or what? It, no, what... it's just because I'm old and I don't like change. <laughs> You're so not I'll old. Just, I'll just use my yes, phone. Is. I don't like phones. She fucking well isn't. I'm turning 25 this month. Yeah, I'm turning Whoa. fucking 30 in July. Fuck yeah. you. <laughs> Whoa. But yeah, I don't... Beep. I can't, beep. Well, this is nice. Beep. Beep. What? Like, I, I would maybe do the whole, like, PS4 Vita thing. Because that's two separate things. But you can have, like, the same save file across them. Maybe do that. But I don't want like to have a couple one. Games. I, I think this is like, actually wanna... quite a good idea. I'm quite... I think it's I mean, probably not... their defining point and the only thing that's going to get quite them through. That this... I'm not saying it's a bad idea. I'm just saying that I am stubborn and I will not abide by it. Will to you? Me, will you is... buy a second Nintendo Switch that you never dock and only use on the go? <laughs> no. <laughs> unless, to me, unless... this is a good thing. Okay, I would because... if there was a Princess Peach designed one. <laughs> <laughs> Cuts. Enjoy that's, cons. Here we go, ladies and that's gentlemen. That's basically how much I paid for my 3DS anyway. So, like, whatever. I can't really comment. I now have four 3DSs. So, yeah, if, I still um, only got the one. Really I only have three. I technically have three. I only have, I only only have, have three. three. I have, I have the one. first one. I have a Pikachu XL, and I have the new XL. One of my friends has a Japanese one and a new one. And oh yeah, that's also something we one. don't have to, to worry about anymore. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. No, also, no region locking. Fly so, the fucking way. One of the things that really annoyed me about the so last import Nintendo SMT. Direct <laughs> was the, that um, games were coming out for the 3DS that looked like they should have been Wii U type. They were bringing out the new Mario Party and they were bringing yeah. out this new Mario Sports compilation with the horse riding thing. Do you yeah. remember that? And I thought that that five in one sports game would That's be so Wii good game. on the Wii U for me to play with my friends in my living room, four or five player. Which is something I would really like, but because the Wii U didn't do well, obviously that project was moved to well, the 3DS. Think, yeah. We no longer have to worry about that sort of thing happening because everything's going to be on one console. Yeah, so I, I do hope, worry. About... I do hope for a Monster Hunter. I think this is more about consolidating the, all of their things into a it means of Monster Hunter. It's about drought of titles not coming out. I think it's about consolidating the Western on... and Japanese markets. Because Japan is all about portables and local multiplayer with between the different handheld Well, it that seems got. that Nintendo in the last last console generation didn't make any money off home consoles, so they needed they to do something know. that would sell as Especially well as their Japan. handheld, turn the your home with, console into a handheld. The thing there with Nintendo is. and quite a lot of other Japanese companies, when they start doing badly, they will fall back to their domestic market and what the domestic market wants. <laughs> And they don't want home consoles, they want portables. I mean, it's just dumb, though, because the reason the Wii U did badly is because of how fucking poorly they marketed it as a new console. Why did they call it the Wii U? Because they, they, they were stupid, but because I they don't think it's cash just off that. the Wii brand. It's it, dumb. It, it was also because a lot of the people who were, you know, bought it for, like, Wii Fit or whatever, then 
when uh, yeah, when the Wii U came out, they were like, well, I can, I can still happened. play Wii Fit on this, so I don't care about the new one. Damn. But was, the new Wii Fit is free. It was never going to succeed. No, the way they marketed it, it did a big fucking it, it, problem. Yeah, it, it, it didn't help, but I'm, I'm not convinced that that was all that was wrong with it. I'm not and, saying it was all that was wrong, but it was probably about six, 60 to 60%, sixty I'd say. There was yeah, a was 70% a... chance that this was the issue, Master. There was also seventy percent chance Fuck. that they fucking assassinated Metroid and Zelda with shit games. And yeah, people were just well, like, "Oh well, well, I'm not going to buy I, that." I think you'll find that's actually a hundred percent. It's not a chance. It's reality. Other M exists, shiny. Yeah. No, it doesn't. Daily reminder that Other M exists and is a it's thing fake, that happens. It's fake and imaginary and a I nightmare. Think you it's mean a fever dream. The best yeah, remember Metroid me? game. <laughs> no, I don't. Remember Blocked. me. I love that guy. Remember He's me. great, isn't he? He Locked. shoots the Ridley was, and doesn't afraid of anything. There was a great moment in one of the, I think it was in a trailer for Iron Man 2, where the Iron Patriot does the exact same yeah, visor know, flip, right? and I'm like, remember, hey, remember me? me? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I don't remember you, because you changed actors you changed between the last <laughs> film and this one, <laughs> so who the, the fuck thing. are you? Oh my goodness. Everyone else in the audience is so... like, well, that's that black guy in the film. <laughs> I'm like, no. They, There's they, only they one black all guy in Iron Man, it's fine. <laughs> okay, so let's... Let's recount. What are the launch titles? The launch titles are... And here is one of the are... many, many problems they think Zelda. The Legend of Zelda. Okay, launch lineup of games. Breath of the Wild, 1, 2, Switch, Bomberman R, yep. yeah. Skylanders Imaginators, and Just Dance 2017. Brilliant. I've seen oh, worse. I've so, seen worse consoles. 2017, not surprising nothing. since it's already out for the I've Wii U. I've seen worse console launches than that. The Wii U? Madness. No, the Wii U. Actually, the Wii U. The Wii U had New Super no, Mario Bros. U, and they had Nintendo Land. The problem they're having is they don't have Mario coming out at launch, and they didn't have Mario mm, on the Wii not U. That's necessary. Launch. When's Mario Odyssey coming out? The holiday season. Oh, yeah. it's fucking ages. It's ages away. Stop what What do you that. people think about Mario Odyssey and like Mario coexisting with like normal looking humans? It looks it looks very silly very and I love odd. It. I, I love think it. The best comment just... I saw was what Mario isn't human now, and someone was like, <laughs> "No, he's Italian." <laughs> 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 I think it looks great. I like the um, the more open worldy platforming styles of Mario 64 and I like both I'm and I'm, I'm happy that they're going back like to that I don't like both but I really yeah. fucking love 3D World I think 3D I really World liked is 3D World I, I didn't Gucci. I didn't no that's no. because you're wrong I'm I want a little that. bit um, like uh, what's the word? I'm not sure about it because I look in that trailer and have you seen like the camera in that trailer? It looks like it's just like it. It doesn't look like it ever like goes onto a rail or anything. No. It's just like tracked to a permanent point behind Mario, and for like platforming, I'm really not sure about that. It doesn't look like the Mario 64 and Sunshine camera. No, it doesn't look like the Galaxy camera, they and it doesn't look like the 3D World cinematic camera. Cinematic. So what the fuck is it? Effect, it will so. probably have a free posable camera since it's open world. Maybe. You can you cannot have a static camera in something like the city level. I mean, what if you I'm want? Wondering. Also, can you get run over? <laughs> I hope so. No cars <laughs> probably stop for you. Can, you. You. you can jump off the hoods of the cars. Yes, and yeah. Like spring yeah. Oh yeah, and cause uh, property damage. Yeah, that's right. I'm happy for it. I want to explore new. It looks alright. I've got yeah, no issues too. with it. It looks good to me. I mean, it's a new Mario <laughs> game, a new proper yeah. like mainline Mario game. All of those are always good. Yeah. I mean, yeah. even like the weakest. Or like the least um, innovative stuff, like Mario Bros. U and stuff like that. Yeah, right. Mario also, Bros. U is actually probably the best new Super Mario Bros. It's game. It's great. It's I didn't game. enjoy it because I've been <laughs> playing new Super Mario Bros. since the DS. Yeah, exactly. That's it, part of the it's problem. Got stale. Yeah. Well, I really loved the DS one, but at the time it felt really fresh and, it and did, new. Yeah. Remember when, I, just, when, as when the that title was a thing? implies. I played like a hundred hours. Of like, the oh my god, they made another two D Mario Wii. game. This is the best. And oh, now you have Mario Maker. Now you got Mario Maker. Well, maybe Mario Maker will finally assassinate the new Super Mario Brothers because they they don't Probably. have a new Super Mario Bros. title slated for this one, and they normally have one of those at launch. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me that they've not got that now. So yeah, has anybody seen 
the the parental controls video for the Switch. Oh, it God, is it's so amazing. Good, it's it? fucking incredible. I Have you seen this, that. Cats? No, I'm going to go need, watch I it. Need, it's it fucking outstanding. That's yeah. probably my favourite thing to come out. <laughs> <laughs> the best thing I've seen to do with the Switch is this. Do you see Bowser being a controls. responsible parent? Where is, it? Where is it? Where is it? I love how much is... of a little shit Bowser Jr. is. As well. Bowser Jr. Is. is a genuine little shit, though. I like, I like, how, like they, how they're like they're bonding over yeah. Mario Kart, but they're bonding specifically over Bowser Jr. hitting Mario with a red shell. That's specifically <laughs> what they're bonding over. I love I how Bowser's phone background is peach. Is a yeah, peach yeah, duck yeah, face. Yeah. <laughs> it's so the good. best fucking shit. Uh, did anyone think with the Mario Odyssey thing as well when Bowser throws his hat? Who throws a hat? Like, uh, what the, the villain what from Random the Task Bond. in, um, well, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, uh, Odd Job in, um, yeah. in, uh, yeah, in Bond and Random Task in Austin Powers <laughs> is what I was thinking. <laughs> he throws it's, a shoe. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I love everything about this video. There's nothing I don't like at all. And also, about the system itself, I like that it doesn't just shut down on itself unless you set it to do that. Expect, uh, like that. I, I, I like the fact that you can do that, though, yep. having two little brothers who are complete fucking shits. I, yeah. I like that that is a thing that is possible. Also, I love how this is a stealth advert for Corning Gorilla Glass as well, because that, that phone that Bowser has, that should not stand up to that fucking effort he's putting into it. <laughs> Something that that bothered me about the video that is just how is he using the phone? He has claws. Those don't work with capacitive <laughs> screens. And that pisses me off. I want to use my claws Speaking on a capacitive, of capacitive screen. screen Great, the switch. The best. Has, yep. As a capacitive it's, it's screen. High def- really? It's high definition yes, it corning gorilla glass. You see, this is the sort of stupid garbage that's bloating the price of it. Like, oh, put a capacitive touchscreen on there. But at least you don't need a pen for it. In In fairness, if you make a tablet these days without a capacitive touchscreen, you've got (sighs) done. But how how am I going to be using it when it's docked? You're not. Clearly, games aren't necessarily going to be using it. Games should not be using it. It It's for casuals, because it's a casual machine as well, and you have to have a capacitive (laughs) touchscreen if you've got a... I assume it will have some sort of pointer, kind of... But they've never had a smart device like this before. This is... It's going to do more than just play games. It's going to be internet on this as well, you realise. No, it doesn't. There's no browser on it. Is that... uh, I can imagine why they've done that, because they got fucked with the 3DS on that front. There's got to be a browser. Wait, what did they get fucked over? Um, The 3DS, um... the reason that hacks now just work on the 3DS is because you can roll back to a firmware... Where you have a browser and you can just load a payload. You don't need the browser anymore. Sound hacks. You don't need thing. You can put a sound file on your SD card, load it in the DS music player, and it will hack your DS. Yeah. There are so many entry points for the DS. The Wii U is the same. You just load the website. If the browser is like an entry point for like executing arbitrary code on your operating system, then you you fucked up with the browser, not the idea of having a browser. Nintendo Nintendo aren't that kind of company. They're a games company still. They're not a proper tech company. They got Opera to make their browser. Yeah, and why did they do that? Opera isn't relevant. Is the fact that the, the Switch is using like, non-proprietary hardware now, is it just going to make it easy as fuck to hack? I hope so. Is it just using regular... It's using tab- Nvidia Tegra. Like, it's using yeah. Tegra. So is, if it's using that chipset, do you think it's you'll be able um, to root it and just put regular fucking, Android if they, on if it? If that is a thing that happens, <laughs> they are so, so They won't be able to so play fucked. games anymore, but... They are so, um, so fucked. Well, that may be why they Nintendo's, feel they have to make money on the hardware, perhaps, because they know that there's Nintendo's a possibility. Look at track record in hacking the Wii... Easy the Wii was hack, fucking broken. Completely bro- blown open. The, the, the 3DS, <laughs> easy to hack. In you fairness, can download games from Nintendo's server yeah, for you can. free. You Wii can. U, you can do the same thing on your PC and then install them on your I Wii U just by going though, to a browser page on your Wii U. The difference, though, with that is that the Wii was really easy to hack and really simple to hack. The 3DS is easy to hack, but not simple. You do actually That's have to true. put some effort into it. Because it took me a while. I did this before sound hacks happened. And yeah, it, I did it, there too. is a long and involved process involving lots I did of it transfer when between A9LH stuff. came out. Yeah, yeah and it took me about a day. It's not as easy as the Wii was because the Wii was just fucking the Wii put this on your SD card, run it, and then it hacked, and that was it. But the Wii U is as easy as the Wii was to hack. Not to get custom firmware, but you can you can 
use Loadin to load games on it. You can, I can stick Smash mods on yeah, if I want. Yeah. There's easy ways. You just or the only way, you, only thing you have to do is go to a specific yeah, website and it'll it's just the same load with the, um, the Vita. The Vita, you. you just go to a web page and it it just launches a payload from there. And yeah. your your Vita's hacked until you turn it off, and then it's not anymore. But yeah, I'm not sure if it is just because of the the early demonstration of it. <clears throat> but from what people have said, there is no web browser on it. It doesn't surprise me if that's the case because they want to minimize the entry points. For I it. think they would be stupid not to have a web browser on. Also, can yeah, I just say too. that they the Nintendo but are why would you stupid need, for leaving things out of their conference. Why would you need a web browser on. on your Switch when you're gonna use your smartphone for chat and lobbies? Well, that's anyway. true because all of that stuff is coming to smart devices as well. So maybe yeah. I don't know. It is a very very odd option that they picked. The device as a it's whole. a stupid it, option. It <laughs> feels like they haven't quite worked out what they want the device to be themselves. Because they're like, oh, we'll put capacitive touch on it. Do we need it? Well, no, but it's yeah, expected. Um... They're probably just leaving it open. Does to it see. even have I a microphone? Think, I don't think the cool people who would would think about, like, do you think casual people who they're aiming this at would, would go, oh, it's got a capacitive touch screen. That means it's good. I'll get that. No, but no. I think that if it doesn't have it, it makes it look like a bad device because yeah, it's, it's you a... expect a tablet to have that, and it's a tablet, essentially. Because it's something you see. You, like you kind of have to have it, otherwise, what's the fucking point? And yeah. also, I don't think they could have had it as something like the the 3DS touch screen because that's got no screen protection on it at all. The bottom screen, and it's yeah, distressing. mine's scratched as fuck. Mine's not, but I worry that I will one day do that to it. Mm, no, I, no. I just don't play Pokemon or something along the lines of that. Got trapped in it. Don't ever get sand trapped <laughs> between oh, your screens in your DS. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you distress me. Please stop. I'll also, <laughs> yeah, Poyo Poyo Tetris. I love Poyo Poyo and I love Tetris, but um, this looks like this looks up. like this looks like the Christmas tortillas of video games. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? It's some two things that I like, but they shouldn't go together. I have no problem with it. I like why why is there things. one person playing Poyo Poyo and another person playing Tetris? That's fucking stupid. Why not? How are you going to balance I that? Would, I, this is the kind of game where I would actually quite happily buy. I would buy it, and then I would either play it in only Poyo Poyo or only Tetris mode. Have you? Did guys... you ever play Tetris Two? And I recommended it to you, by the way, on the on the snares. Uh, which one was that? Was that the one with the weird blocks? Yes. Yeah, I think I played it. Doesn't a bit make of any that. fucking sense. No, it doesn't. It's like we it was great. Took, we've taken Tetris and just slightly ruined it. Fucking let's it. let's talk a bit about Splatoon because we haven't yet. Splatoon Two. I I think. Like, Splatoon was cool, and Splatoon yeah. was a good idea, but Splatoon is dead now because there's no more Splatfests, and I didn't get it until after all the Splatfests were done, dead. so I feel like I, I missed out. But Splatoon 2 can, can rekindle that. Um, the problem I have with Splatoon is how the maps just don't rotate. Yeah, you like, don't get choices. Unless you play all day, they aren't going to rotate no. because it's four hours, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Four hours of four maps you get to choose I always from. felt like it was designed to be played in, like, Chunks of like two or three games, and then you stop, and then you go back to it later. But oh, there's new maps I on don't rotation. Want to do that. No, I you don't. don't but that's how they stop. want you to play it. And you're playing a Nintendo console, yeah. which means that you don't get to play the way that Needs you want to, to play. Change. Because Needs Nintendo change. are basically Apple and Disney rolled <laughs> into one. That's what they are, and you you go by their rules, or you don't go by anything. Greedy and overpriced. By yeah, the way, like that's how d- they work. So I only played like a few hours of Splatoon original, and I thought it was sort of all right. It's but very the, good. the new one is that? Does that look different to the old one? Because to me, it looks identical. It looks like a straight up sequel. It's got more weapons and stuff, more maps. I liked Splatoon when I first started playing it, but then I stopped playing it for about a month and went back in. And everyone had ridiculous gear, and everyone had ridiculous stats. Yeah, and I, I went. I, I, can I not play anymore? I liked it when I, I was matched play? with people who, they had better gear than me and stuff, but I was still able to beat them. But yeah. then these level 50s, it was like, level 20s I was fine with, level 50s it was like, no, not just no. I stopped playing online before I even reached level 10. Yeah, I don't think I played for very long. I haven't Most, played that was mostly because I took, a, I took a break from it and then went back and I couldn't, I remember you, I couldn't play anymore. I remember you being really into it. Moodle. I like. I love. I love what I played, but then I I left and came back, and I couldn't play anymore. Is mm. what I found at least. Fair. I don't know. Maybe I just didn't give it enough time. Maybe I wasn't doing something right. But I was doing something right for the first part of the game. I don't one, know what happened. One thing know. I'm qu- quite glad about with the Switch reveal is that they haven't revealed any sort of Smash Bros. No, I Switch. I wonder what they'll do with that one. Me. 
and I bought both the other Smash Bros. fours when they I came out. I think next year that will come. That will be E3, or maybe E3 yeah. this year. It will, they will probably show it at E3. <clears throat> they need to keep some things They'll up their sleeves. They'll need something for E3. E3 will be Mario Odyssey, more information on that. It will be Smash Bros. Maybe Metroid, if we get lucky. No, 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 no. Metroid is dead now, Google. People didn't buy, people didn't buy Metroid Federation, of course. Are you dying? It was alright. Right. 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 That, it was that right. game, that game really doesn't exist. That definitely doesn't In, exist. Uh, that game. Is, has anyone played it? <laughs> I, I haven't played it's it. All right. I heard, I heard it's actually pretty okay, game? but how can you play a game that isn't real? I know. That's how can we talk to Mitch when he isn't real? If our eyes aren't real. 